Uh, oh, God. Oh, we're all gone. We're all gone. God damn it. What's going on? What's going on? Oh. What is going on? Ah, oh, we, we disappeared. Ah, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. So, hello and welcome to the Coffee Cafe where we don't serve coffee. We serve. Oh, I'm here. Yeah. I'm Z. And yeah. today, I'm going to be, uh, wait. There we go. Here's the raccoon while I set up Lisa. Apparently, Lisa's not set up yet. <laughs> so can I be heard? I think you can be heard. Let me double check. Just the, do the audio check. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah. You can be heard. You can be heard. And today, we'll be continuing our Welcome Home stream. This is part two of us going through the new update. Because apparently, it was much bigger than anticipated. And we were just going to check it out last Tuesday. But... Wow, it really did consume quite a lot of uh, time. Like, uh, okay, so a little recap. What did we learn last last time? Oh, um, let's see. Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Lisa and Zeno Game Theory. No, we can never fill those shoes up big. We can never fill those shoes. But if you guys want us to do theories on games, yeah. Why, are, Songa? Are you okay? Okay, is there more to the secret website? Okay, here's what we've got. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kai. Hi, Angel. Hi, Sangha. Hi, Burger. Hi. Uh, 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 Hello, everyone. Um, okay. uh, I'm gonna. I'm the gonna... update broke you all. We're about to get emotional. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, okay. So, what we know so far is that it's the Christmas slash winter update. Um, on the news page, we see that. While the update's been happening, they think like, oh, the person that put this up, it's like, oh, um, Merry Christmas. Oh, look at all this. We've we've gotten so much stuff. Like, uh, new merchandise has been um, found. New pieces of media have been found. We haven't seen much of the media. And uh, another update was like, oh, I can't believe it's already March. There was an error in the last thing. Like, this person took so much time. We didn't even know it was March. It was a, It's a huge error. I'm so sorry. Uh, hello, okay, 2000. Do you guys mind if I beat this one boss? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. We're just here to go buy. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm saying you cried. This is insane. Okay, another thing we learned is that we um found a lot of doodles going around. I We have seen like some comments, I think, from Leo and Stitch fan, who was here last okay. time, had mentioned that there was a cipher. And some, um, why, why does it bring tears to your eyes? Uh, Lisa went through two transformations, a raccoon and Z, yes, truly. So yeah, um, uh, we are right now, we're, what we did last time and what we're still doing is that we're going through, yes, it's Wally, we're going through the the, the more the shallow end of the updates. You know, like the, the top view updates, like seeing what's new, what's up. And then like, as we're going through this, um, then we'll like dive deeper. Also, Lisa is, ten is a tanuki. Every time I think of a tanuki, I keep remembering. I keep remembering what those things can do, man. And at least in myth, at least in folklore and myth. You guys want us to talk about the tanuki again? It's actually quite bizarre. It's so funny. Okay, one. God no spoilers. No <laughs> Ready? Okay, this Wally is still cursed, but I'm getting used to him. I, like you've been staring at him. You've been staring at him. For uh, a while now, just to get used to things. Um, uh, Something's going on with my mouth, man. It keeps, it keeps, keeps. We're both bit of actually. Bit. So yeah, um, that's how we're like. The Wild Z is fixing up over there. I am going to just vegetable Wally real. He's real. Okay, there's a secret website. One, don't spoil so much. You guys can help us navigate. Navigation is fine, but don't say like what exactly we'll find there, cause like it'll be fun. Um, so yeah. Hi there, Michaela and Jenny. Um, also, whatever, whatever was said there, like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna restart the models. Okay. Give, give us a little... Yeah. Tanuki Lisa doesn't have a purse. I have purse. Um, oop. Yes. Hello. All right. What? <laughs> Which oop? Because, like, we're, we're literally just fixing over here. Yeah, it's alright. I don't know. I actually remember Hello? what you said last time, so it's Let's like... let me speak this time. Yes. Okay, so 
Oh what yeah, the cookbook is so funny, actually. That's so weird. That Maybe is the mic. Maybe the mic. There's something up with the mic. Like, um, choose like your regular mic and not a uh, voice meter. No, I'm. I. This is my regular mic. That's allegedly. weird. The glitch is going oh, on. Yeah, oh, the glitch he's here. He's made his way in. Ah. Uh... That's so weird. Anyways, um. A tanuki with a purse. You know what? Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know. What? You know what? I th you know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do. You know. What? Okay, I'm gonna oh. look for. Oh, oh no, no, vegetable Wally snooking the recording. I know, right? It's like you can't find out my secrets. Okay, so uh, there you go. Okay, okay. so <laughs> just gonna keep these guys on because. God damn, that was a little annoying. Okay. Yes, Lisa went through three transformations: Tanuki, Raccoon, Z, and Z. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so we we are back. Uh, oven. Okay, there we go. Now it's in full screen. And, we went through uh, the cookbook. Um, we've seen the recipes on there. My favorite. I we're going to be trying one of the recipes very soon. You guys, you guys will see it on my the... favorite one. I will show you my favorite. I will show you my favorite. Is it? Is it the exploding uh, hot dog? It's just half eaten dog. <laughs> you I know love what that. my favorite one is? Yes. You know what my favorite one is? It's just. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The cube dog. The cube, the cube dog. The dog. Oh, dog. It's no, no, the cube dog. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we know that these are a cipher now. We haven't like figured out how. So yeah, that's yeah. uh. So anything we don't uh, check out will be uh like we'll be going through the Reddit as well. Yeah. So yeah, there might even be a part three because like God. Damn, the things that we found is like huge. A lot. We didn't even know how big this would be. So, hello. Oh, oh gosh. Oh goodness gracious me. Okay. Hello. Where? Where the hell? Okay. So, Lee, also side note, Lisa's gonna be taking the taking the wheel with the stream because, like, I have a really bad migraine this morning. So, um, I don't know why. We've been through this one as well. Yeah. The, the... Um, we were going to be starting with the audio that was 20 minutes. Oh, oh. yes, yes. Was it this one? Oh, Lord. Not this one. Oh, Lord Jesus. Have we had this one? Um, this is the two minute one, I think. Yes, we, we, we have. Okay. The, 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 it's this one, I think. Okay, everyone. Um, we're going to be listening to this. It's it's a bit long. It's it's incredible. It looks cool. Let us know if you'd like us to pause on it or like uh, go through a different thing. If you, uh, you know, whatnot. But yeah. Here it is. Um... What a beautiful day in home, isn't it, neighbor? Just like every day before today and every day after. Winter seems to have passed over our wonderful little neighborhood by the looks of things. Well, Coke Chill never stopped the hustle and bustle in this town before. But I think I see someone still tucked away in our oh, favorite little red house. Oh, listen to Frank's part. Okay. Wally, Whoa. darling, why are you still sitting in your armchair when it's such a beautiful day outside? Ah. Oh, hello, narrator. You're okay. right. It is a beautiful day outside, but I'm waiting for my friend, Barnaby. Yay. You are? Uh-huh. Yes, I have a question to ask him. You do? I um, do. Oh, bro, bro, hello, bro. Barnaby. What the? How'd you get in here? What do you mean? <laughs> you left the door open. I don't... <laughs> where, where do I? Hey, Wells. What's all this hubbub about a question? The hubbub is that the homewarming party is tonight, to Barnaby. To okay. But... I don't think I know how to do home warming right. What should I do? What if I do it wrong? What if it makes home sad? Ooh, that's <laughs> well, if you ask me, I say we ought to hamstray. 
Home's gonna catch wise if you go talking about home warming here. Let's shake a leg and go paint the town, little buddy. Okay, Barnaby. But what color Barnaby here, yeah. are we painting? He's a little more toned down. If I head in my way walls, it'd be yeah. blue with polka dots. And so, Barnaby and Wally bid home a fun farewell as they made their way into the neighborhood in search of advice on how to make homes home warming all the more... Home warmier? Nope. Yes, no, that I'll, is a Greek I'll, word. I'll think yes. better. Hey, it keep it perfect. down up there. Some of us are trying to do some serious celebrating down here. Did you mean celebrating, Barnaby? No, 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 kid. It's nerd talk for thinking. Just like how Frank would say it. <laughs> how I would say what? What who would the who? Standing amidst the snow was none other than Frank Frankly and Julie Joyful, the resident nature nurturers of the neighborhood. Oh, Frank yeah. seemed to be tending to a bug curled up cozily inside of a tree hollow, while Julie gingerly wished another close flower bud sweet dreams. Hi, Frank. Hi, Julie. Hello, Wally. Barnaby. Hey, Jules. <laughs> Frank, you out here bored bugs to sleep by tell them how grass grows? Shh. Shh, 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 shh. Can't you see we're getting everyone prepared for slumber? It's hibernation time. It's a staple of cold weather. The bugs have to be tucked away. And if I don't kiss all the flowers goodbye, they won't bloom in the springtime. Oh, Make sure everybody's ready before I go in hibernation too. Right, hibernation. Just hibernation. Boy, that sounds good right That's about now. Why didn't we do that, Wally? We're trying to learn about home warming. Oh, that's right, home warming. <laughs> Shush. Frank, Julie, and Wally quickly. Shush. <laughs> right, right, right. Sorry, Frank, Julie, and Wally. Quickly shushed Barnaby again, right before so he could explain well, yeah. Wally's holiday dilemma. You have a problem, Wally? Yes. I don't know how to celebrate home warming with home. If I don't know how before the home warming party, I don't know what I'll do. That's easy enough. The answer is in the name, Wally. Home warming is when you warm up your home. Frank's right. Home warming is about making sure your house is nice, cozy, and toasty. Right before I go to sleep for a very long time, I make a big nest for my bed, just like I used to back home when I was small. A lot of pillows and blankets and leaves and sticks. Julie, I still Ooh, think sleeping with sticks a monster. can't be that comfortable. <sighs> Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> I sleep like a rainbow monster blush in a flower bud. Uh, you could always warm it from the inside, too, you know, with firewood, kindling. Home would probably like not to be light warm in all fire. this cold <laughs> weather, just Poor like this dude. bug. <clears throat> Can you see it? It's the Caninus Cochinella Day. I do see it. Gesundheit. tight. Thank you. Oh, that's it. We're too busy for this silliness. Shoot the both of you before I give you a lecture on how grass grows. I think he means it. Walls, run! Bye, Frank. Hey, Frank's too literal, their house. kid. Home war is more than roaring uh, fire. Outside. We ought to see ourselves a professional. With Wally saddled on his back, Barnaby led them both deeper into town and towards Howdy's place, the home of everything you need and everything you don't. Hey, who put this in here? That's how you market yourself, my friend. Hey, howdy. Hello, howdy. Howdy do, fellas. What can I get for you two today? One of my neighborhood famous holly jolly Whoa. hot dog days? Maybe a four armed winter coat for that special sun buggy? You what dog. about a tall glass of spirit of home warming? It's a dog. To whet your whistle. Or maybe. Whoa, whoa. You Hold dog. your horses, howdy. We're here to get some advice. Advice? You know I don't got any of that for sale, Bon. Not unless it's bug? to buy, buy, oh. buy. No, no, not that kind. Go on, little buddy. Tell them what you're looking for. Okay. 
Howdy, I don't know how to celebrate home warming with home right. If I don't know how before the home warming party, I don't know what I'll do. Frank said home warming is just a home that's warm. Frank? What does he know about home warming? That stick of the mouth doesn't get it. People already uh, I tell you what home warming is about audio. walls. Yeah. It's about warming the home yeah, through their heart. And what's cool. the quickest way to somebody's heart? It's through gifts, presents, <laughs> knickknacks. Bobbles? That's right. Trinkets even. It's about what you give to other folks. The bigger, the shinier, and the more expensive, the better. It's about that razzle and dazzle. Go on, Bond, tell them. I don't know, howdy. I'm a pretty simple dog. You're being modest. Now, Walt, I got the perfect thing to put on home to get him ready for the season. And it'll only cost you a lighthearted chuckle. Ta-da! It was then that Howdy Pillar pulled out a luxurious-looking scarf. If one were to take a guess, it was probably the perfect size for a large house. Wally's eyes sparkled brightly as he looked at it, but... Barnaby was not as impressed. Still, he remembered this was all for Wally. Now, what's an honest-to-goodness caterpillar like me got to do to get you out the door with this beautiful one-of-a-kind gift? What do you mean, Howdy? I thought you said this one would be on the house. Howdy was quiet for a moment before the punchline suddenly hit his antennas. <laughs> He began laughing uproariously at the unexpected joke, <laughs> far more than a chuckle. Barnaby casually took the offered scarf while Howdy continued to laugh and bang his hands on the counter. He tossed the garment up to Wally for bidding Howdy a happy home warming, too. Eh, looks like we're still on this search, little buddy. We are? I'd say so. This joke Howdy's heart is in the right place, but I don't Barnaby. think buying oh, yeah. things will make home happy. We ought to try looking elsewhere for, uh, is, is that Sally up there? Up Barnaby there. was right. There, scaling the tallest of the homewarming trees in all the neighborhood, was Sally Starlet herself. She was wearing an outfit adorned in sparkles, glitter, tinsels, ornaments, even strings of popcorn. She was, as she's ever been, truly a sight to behold. Even now, as she continued to climb up the tree, she was radiant. Is that my cue? She's, cr she's climbing Bartholomew, a tree. Bartholomew, Walliford, you two have arrived Wall just in time to see me scale the homewarming tree and become the... But okay, the biggest you got it, you got it. Star of this little humdrum town. I He's thought you already were. I didn't count you being the only star that lives here. That's right, and I plan on keeping it that way. Both Barnaby and, and Wally continued to watch her climb up the tree. Well, uh, that's that. Uh, come on, kid, let's... Uh... Wait, Barnaby, we didn't ask her. Barnaby wordlessly agreed to Wally's request, stopping in his tracks and Barnaby turning back around to look at Sally. Name. Wally took a deep breath and spoke as loudly as he could. Sally, I have a question. I don't know how to celebrate home warming with home. If I don't know how before the home warming party, I don't know what I'll do. Frank said home warming is just a home that's warm. Howdy said it was gifts for home. <laughs> well, I can going tell you now on that other living stars. wrong. Confirmed. Well, the home warming is about the ambiance, the decor, the experience. Sally enunciated oh, every word She's with a bold kid. wave She's of her hand. Barnaby wondered if she'd go flying off the tree with how expressive her gestures were. They'd call her a fallen star. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to warm a home? Then with the awe and grandeur only the holidays can provide. Walliford, you must treat him to a show. He wants to sparkle. The lights, the tinsel, the sound of merriment. Oh, this is going. Uh, if he is right, lucky good. enough, home will okay. see me seated upon the tree to admire from afar. 
he even is luckier. a silly goober. Santa Claus might even see my radiance Aww. and bestow a happy homewarming onto all of us. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. That's right. Nothing bellows out to the heavens that homewarming is here than a special guest appearance by Santa himself. No. Run along, you two boys. I must save I'm this out. town from a mediocre homewarming by shining brightly down the upon it all. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. yes. <clears throat> With that, Sally waved the two off and threw her head back. She began to shout homewarming carols as loudly as she could, oh, and still climbing tree. up the tree oh, as passionately as before. Tree. Barnaby and Wally watched for only a moment before moving on. Well, Wally, I'd say we lost it to the homewarming spirit. Damn. Maybe she's Damn. right, Barnaby. Maybe home doesn't have enough decorations. What if it's Santa possible. Claus what? doesn't yes. come oh, see him? Oh, it's the scarf him. from when you enter the He'll site. Be so awesome. sad. That'd be so cute. Now, don't go getting down. I think home needs something more than some party decorations and Santa Claus. Maybe there's somebody out there with better advice than that. Okay. Aww. Just as luck would have it, Poppy's barn was just nearby. According to Barnaby's nose, anyway. What can I say? The nose knows. Thankfully, she wasn't fond of leaving her little home. Which meant Barnaby's the two neighbors beagle, could right? properly seek her out so. for some advice. Maybe a even really grab a big homemade home warning treat or two while they were there. A gentle knock on the door was enough to earn a oh, panicked that's, squawk that's and a relieved call cool from inside of the bar before a familiar face peeked out. Oh, Barnaby and Wally. Oh, dear, you two will catch a cold out there. Come in, won't you? I've made a sunflower seed ham. Uh, don't worry sunflower about us, Poppy. We're busy looking for a... Uh, did you say sunflower seed ham? What joke, part sir. of the sunflower so seed is the hay? Why, the, 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 the like shape, of noise. course, you silly beagle. Poppy happily presented a beautiful silver platter filled with... Mm, I suppose you would call it sunflower seed ham. Barnaby hey, took man. a slice. Oh, it's in it the recipe book. Confusedly. Well, uh, you got me there, Poppy. That sure is ham. It certainly is. Could I bring one back for home? Yes. In fact, take two. No, no, three. He must have a big appetite for being such a large home. My, my. Eat? Maybe I can Eat? add a bit of fresh paint and nails to it. Do homes have an appetite for that, Wally? Eat. Oh, I never asked. I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. Bobby, yeah, yes. I have a question. I don't know how to celebrate home warming with home. Oh. If I don't know how before the home warming party, I don't the, the know what I'll do. Book. Frank said home warming is just a home that's warm. Howdy said it was gifts for home. Sally said it was decorations in Santa Claus. There's certainly nothing wrong with any of those, I'd say. But no Aww. one has mentioned the most important part. Homewarming dishes certainly make the holidays feel like they're sitting right at the table with you. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I've never thought about the food. You Aww. must keep the guests well fed, Wally. It's only polite. That goes for Santa Claus, too. Uh. I believe I'll it's read that very theory after this is done. To We're leave nearly a done. piping hot ham in the tree in time for his what? errands. One must Wait, forget freshly baked buns and butter, too. Goodness, all the gelatin desserts. <laughs> Pretty extravagant, if you ask me. Whatever happened to milk and cookies? For all the work exactly. he does, he must have a proper meal. A yeah, snack protein. like that won't More protein. Do. Eggs, boiled eggs. Cookies which do we had sound earlier. lovely. Oh, I have so much prepping to Protein. do. My beak Burn. is chittering just thinking about it. I'm sorry, but I must set back to the kitchen. You two have a happy home warming. Don't forget to leave out a warm dish, Wally. You too, Barnaby. Of course. Bye, Poppy. With all the neighborhood accounted for, the two returned to home's front doorsteps. Still without Poppy, a clear you. answer on what made a wonderful <laughs> home warming. Still... Wally and Barnaby took everyone's advice in hopes that one of their ideas would stick. 
Wally presented home with the new scarf and wrapped it around his large frame. Barnaby Aww. set to work decorating his walls with tinsel and lights. Together, they prepared a bizarre-looking ham and gelatin, one they hoped would make Santa Claus proud. Finally, they warmed home up from the inside with a roaring fire and enough pillows and blankets for the whole neighborhood. Wally even tossed the slice of poppy seed ham into the flames and listened for a sound Eddie. of approval. Home watched all the commotion throughout, idly taking Eddie? part in whatever bizarre collection of traditions the two had discovered. Ooh. Yeah. However, you don't dare even Eddie. through all their efforts, Wally stood at home's front steps, downtrodden and worried. Maybe Eddie's like so many out. thoughts were running no, through his were... little head. Most it's of all, was like if any of these things made home happy. Barnaby, oh, some... why do I feel sad? Oh, I don't know, little buddy. Why don't you tell me? I don't know. Mm. I think I might know. So, follow me on this one, kid. But I think you're sad, because you think none of this it's stuff made home happy. Oh, you're following me too, right? Home opened and closed his front doors to make a sound of affirmation. The fire, the presents, the lights, the tinsel, that weird ham gelatin thing we made. You think none of this works, right? Yes. I don't think this is working. Well, I think you're right. You do? I do. How come? Because I think everybody in this place was right and wrong. How can... Uh, what? Home warming isn't oh, just God. what you do. It's not what you eat, what you buy, if the house is warm, or even if the house looks good. Home made a creaking sound as if to let out an indignant puff. Hey, I wasn't saying you wasn't a good-looking house. Trust me on this. What I'm saying is this. Home warming is about spending time with your home. All that stuff we did was stuff we did with each other. That's what home warming is meant to do, little buddy. To warm you up from the inside out. Home let out a low sound as if to insist it in agreement with Barnaby. Yes, that is exactly it. Finally, you have realized. Oh, then that means... Yes, sir, we was. That means we could have been doing this from the beginning. Oh, you gotta pipe up next time. Me and Molly were working ourselves to the bone out there in the freezing cold, trying to figure out what you wanted for home warming. Home lowered its shades in disapproval of Barnaby before giving the beagle a gentle whack with one of his shirts. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, I was getting around. I'm relieved, home. I'm happy that you're happy. Happy home warming. Yeah, happy home warming, you big lug. And what a happy home warming it was. Home let out a sound of joy and hugged both of them with his front door. Everything was perfect. So perfect, in fact, that Wally had no doubts that the home warming party tonight would be the best they've ever had. With holiday cheer brimming in all three of their hearts, they went inside a home and continued their preparation. What the fuck? I feel like that was in reverse. Okay. One, I'm gonna go read the comments because, like, there was quite a bit. Um, one, uh, scroll up, bitch, damn. I, uh, Songo says, I did see a th theory where Wally isn't giving things to home for fo home warming, but giving them sacrifices to a demon entity. That's interesting because of, like, you know, the whole discussion, they the whole bit they had where it's like, oh, I don't think it's working, and it's like, what do you- He probably threw you? Eddie in the fire before- Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's why know, he was near, you know? Was that was the sacrifice given. Why did they change it from sunflower seeds to poppy seeds? Oh, they. That's true. No, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They. This is a very interesting tidbit that uh, they said. Yeah. Didn't they throw the? Well, what was it? Poppy seed bird. Poppy seeds. Uh. Ham. Ham. Yeah. They threw it in the fire. 
They're... That was a very interesting tidbit. They specifically said that they threw it on a fire. Like, that stood out to me. Where, uh... Scroll up okay, let me out. look. Fire. Uh, okay. Um... I think... A little too early? That's how Wally sounds when he's really sad, I think. I think that cut off with Wally was just him trying to figure out more emotions than just happiness. Ooh, that's interesting. Wally's frustration causes psychic distortions in the video slash audio. Here. Remember how he bit the apple? Oh. Finally, they warmed up home uh, from the inside or now flag is in Wally even tossed the slice uh, the slice of poppy oh, seed ham the into the flames. Oh, is that how he eats then? Is poppy the next victim? Ah! Again, don't burn the house down. It won't be comfy. That's true. Yeah, that's a very interesting uh, wording. They threw the the slice of uh, poppy ham into the flame. Also, Mouse was Wally. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Puts the horrors back down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the one. Oh, okay. I'm fine now. <laughs> Oh, Wally is... taking out his knife, ready to carve Barnaby. Oh, I think you know we're just supposed to warm up the house with our good vibes. Oh, okay, it's the knife back. Now. Yeah, I mean, like hold on. we're gonna go back and read uh, the other stuff. Like where, where the fuck? Where the fuck? Okay, theory though, theory. Yes. Like quick little theory here. We might elaborate this. What if home warming is supposed to be a ritual? Yeah, yeah. To come home. And the reason why home, like, yeah, the reason why everything's going on, it got, like, cancelled is because they failed to do home warming. And that's why when we look at the alternative home, it's all dark, cold, decrepit. It's because the, the like, home was never warm. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Home warming harmonies for a heart and home. With this album full of songs from all your favorite neighbors, you're sure to bring the homewarming spirit into your own home. Oh, Yay! Though we were only able to recover and restore one complete track from Up From the Toe Top, starring Julie Joyful, Sally Starlet. So Eddie exists still. Eddie is here singing Frank Frankly and Barnaby B. Beagle. Our research suggests that there be have been a dozen or more songs recorded for this charming holiday record. Possible song titles may have included Have a Safe Little Home Warming, A Barely Silent Night, We Three Queens, and Barnaby's Holly Jolly Holiday Stand Up Intermission Hoedown. So, like, how long is this one? Wait, god damn it all, this damn mouse. You wanna listen to the poem? doing mr frankly thank goodness you're here i've rightly lost control of this situation <laughs> you lost control can't you see we're in the middle of preparing for my home warming play julie is my santa claus and home her trusted reindeer it's gonna die you'll do whatever you want i'm having a snowman size snooze over here yeah we're singing a song <laughs> what is all this about? Calm down, Franklin. You mustn't shout. She's perfectly safe now. And do you see? Look at her dancing. It's so carefree. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh, it's for my show. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Who wouldn't go? I wouldn't go. Oh, 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 watch out, Bella. 
Snow. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> I tried to warn you. Joke's on you. My horns are better than ever. And what on earth was that awful cracking sound? That was me, Mr. Deer. <laughs> that was me. Juliet, I fell from the sky. You fell from a house. Come on, walk it off, walk it off. We have a show to do. She's like, she falls from a house, like, walk it I mean, off. She has a point. She has a point. A point. Girl, girl fell. Wow, a lot of records. God damn. Maybe Frank is short for Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Holmes said it himself, whole burnt offerings aren't entirely unnecessary. God damn. What's a holiday without all the family there to celebrate? With you. For our own howdy pillar, that's a lot of family. A quarter of a wiggle of them, in fact. Meet a few endearing and collective members of the extended pillar family with this wonderfully wacky homewarming single, courtesy of Marlowe Records. Our team has been lucky to uncover and restore a com complete track alongside the uh, above cover art. This is eight minutes. This is a bit long, but it looks like this is all his family. That's interesting. We get to see characters that live outside of home. That's so cool. All right. Oh, these are so cute. Actually, wait. Why is why is that grandpa over there wearing his glasses on his nose, but his eyes are Whoa, up there? You're right. His that, what? Are you? Sir, that's not how glasses work. That's not how glasses work. He sir. needs them to smell better. <laughs> Oh, this sounds like cute, really. It's a bit long, so like, let's see what. A, a bit... okay, yeah, like, I have to, I have to go check the transcript. Yeah, that way we can have we have something to follow along with. Okay, Wally's Toyland. Where's? Okay, here it is. Howdy's holiday hullabaloo. Howdy's family now, in the song are not what they I seem. I don't close early what? for any old thing. Not Why? rain, not sleet, not snow. Not even that time Julie launched herself clean through the wall over there. Oh, nothing, what? what? I mean nothing closes up Howdy's before the workday is done. It's an in-law, not a caterpillar, but a slug. But that doesn't explain why the glasses day, are on his... <laughs> at this <laughs> time of the season, <laughs> but like... I'll close a wink before shut eye. For a very good he reason. wants to look smart, but isn't smart enough to know. <laughs> oh, I think I hear the reason for the season now. Ma, pops. Hello, my little howdy do. Are you eating enough? That's so cute. Oh, bye. I told you he wasn't eating enough. I brought a leaf casserole for you, honey bug. Oh, quit oh. baby and the boy, hire dear. He's a grown caterpillar. He ain't a pill bug no more. What kind of game was Julie playing? Have I ever been a pill bug? We're all caterpillars. <laughs> 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 uh, so. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> Not to be too indelicate about it, but uh, it's just two of you here to visit this year, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, good. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's wrong. Oh, no. After all, oh, no. what's a oh, good no. home woman without a couple of the pillars together? Don't tell me you brought the whole wiggle of them with you. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Only a quarter of a wiggle, dear. <laughs> oh, no. oh, what is up with that? <laughs> damn, damn. Oh, ain't that just like family? My family tree's a wiggle of eleven to you more. Even a quarter of them will fill up my little store. So clear the tables, clear the aisles, and let them all come through. And I'll get us so all long, ready for yeah. a holiday hullabaloo. First stops higher and by I hear my mother and my pop. They raised me up with love and care before I ran the shop. They grown me selling lemonade when I was only two. Oh. So I guess for them I'll have to man this holiday hullabaloo. You're such a good boy, howdy. Aw, love you too, Ma. Oh, brother. Is that my brother? Oh. Brother Claus, howdy. Oh, jubilance. Oh, mirth. What a okay. blissfully blissome day, as it always is when I get to spend time with you, my beloved brother. Uh-huh. Mm. Same to you, ladder. 
Well, as a matter of fact, I'm so overflowed with the spirit of the season, I've written a poem just to express uh, a poet. my joyous feelings for these festivities. Uh, oh, the paper! Oh, oh, that's a lot of people. Good God. Okay, oh. Inhospitable, supercilious, and unbearably contentious. This blizzarding apocalypse. Oh, hold on, Arcopolis. This blizzarding Arcopolis providing a holiday hypothesis. Where the vine yonder will be. Me writing my break. essay in freshman year. Probably my <laughs> hippopotamus. All right. All right, that's enough. Now, Lada here is a Maybe two is like a ten in both what years, yeah. Truth be told, his writing fills me with a certain dread. But even rambling on and on, he's family through and through. So I'll be with it just today for this holiday holiday. <laughs> you do realize you said all that right to my face, don't you, brother dear? Is that little CIC there? Oh, he just... Out of the way, letter. He does not my care. My little sis is coming through. Get on over here, howdy, you big old bug. How are you? <laughs> Bundle's better now that you're here, sis. Trying to make the oh, word count. Oh, so it would adore a sisterly embrace. Oh, go help Ma with her casserole, Ladder. Ooh, I just knew oh. Ma would bring her trademark casserole. Good thing I took care of dessert. I brought my world famous delectable homemade You're not a tune. Oh, we. Oui. Extra well done, I see. Careful, or you set off the smoke alarm with that. Oh, you jokester. You know I always make it this way, just the way my honeybee likes you it. You brought beer with you? My favorite brother in law. Good to see you. He sure I thought is. he said beer. <laughs> I'm like, beer? <laughs> beer reminds me of that. Uh, Two are that, just a laugh riot. <laughs> that girl from uh, Hasbun Hotel. Now, see you. Here's it's my me. sister. Her sweetheart, as you see. <laughs> Also, her hubby, Bia, who's quite a busy bee. That's cute. I love him like a brother, okay. and I know he loves oh. me too. So let's give him a warm welcome at the holiday. Howdy's holiday. first word. Howdy, What's you, two, you two kids get in here too. You mean my two favorite grubs are here? Of course. The holidays are a great opportunity for them to be somebody else's problem for a change. Yeah, Bro. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Golly, the last time I saw you two, you were just a couple of dewdrops. Now, you two have been acting good this year, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, they're so thank you. Well, which is it then? We've been good. All right, all right, go play your That's little That's the shiny yeah! kids, I swear to God. But don't mess Whoa, why are the they moving on? Yeesh. My darling little nephews, how do and you do too? Don't let the sweetness fool you, they're terrors through and through. But I love them both the pieces, as an uncle ought to do. But maybe oh. they'll help me clean up after the holiday hullabaloo. Oh, well, good gracious. We got a whole pile of pillars here. Oh, Aunt man. Toodaloo, Uncle Adu, your good friend Sue. Oh, oh, and of course, my cousin Skedaddle, too. Always a delight Aww. to see you, my dear. How do you do? The shop looks... Hmm. Well, how are the stocks Whoa. doing, then? Oh, 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 the stocks, dear boy, the stocks! You are planning to sell this place someday, aren't you? If I were you, I'd aim to get at least an uproarious laugh out of it. Certainly no less than a giggle or two. My stocks are green, and this business is names. mean, auntie. Tell me, Uncle Adu. What? What's my uncle saying? Howds, you're as sound as a pound and then some. You're like totally copacetic. Oh man, he's like a server dude. You know, funny thing is, I think Uncle Adu's the one making the most sense here. Yeah. We're gonna Hell have yeah. to start speeding through family members if we wanna wrap up this song before springtime. 
There's hire here and buyer there, be a seer, what a pair. How do you do, nephews too, and my brother ladder too. Then there's rich on toodaloo, husband a do, and best friend Sue, skedaddle too, who could forget. How's it, who's it, they'll bring their pet. What, no, what's what? it, they'll come late, adios, cheers, oh, they will wait, and then there's coming, and then there's going, and my head feels like exploding. Ow! Cam, cam, salutations. I told you all that big Bell. city fast talking isn't good for you. Uh oh! I'm the knocking oh. gam gam! <laughs> well, someone had to slow you down. You're out rushing your wiggle like you're hustling for a sale. Relax your rumpish for a mo. Have a cup of a sale. Oh. And don't forget the reason we're we'll all gathered here with you. For the home warming? Better than that, you green bean. To share some time together at the holiday hullabaloo. Oh. Hey, uh, howdy. I've been walking around all day long, and boy, my dogs are barking. Mind if I Yo, make my whistle lane? Hiya, Bon. Hiya, Hi, Bon. Woof. Woof. That was, the, was that just a wolf? What, like, why, why the wolf? There's just a wolf. Like, was that supposed to be like, woof? You know, like he, him scared, but the way he said it, it was like, like oh, woof. Oh. Like he was trying to like, hey. Really? You know what I heard? Oh, woof. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, was like, whoa. Okay, 2000's back. We didn't get to see a lot of like chat in a bit because we were going through the transcript, but like, um, hello, children, uh, for legal reasons. Smoking bad. Remember, guys, smoking is bad. Uh, I don't recommend vaping personally. I mean, you do you. But, 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 remember, guys, 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 if you guys get a pipe, put some bubble liquid into it. So when you blow, it will blow bubbles. Okay, okay, wink, wink, nod, nod. What? Uh, does your child ever wish to be like their tobacco pipe smoke and pop? But without the danger of smoke inhalation, look no further with this bump. <laughs> Whoop is the original. Yeah, it was the 70s. Yeah, I'll take it. 60s, 70s. I'll. Yeah, that, that's just a thing. All right, hand painted with Barnaby inspired colors. Children could do just that through the fun of blowing bubbles. Just pour the bubble liquid into the reservoir, close the cap, and you're ready to smoke, quote-unquote, just like your old man. Or even better, just like Barnaby Beagle himself. That's actually a good, that's actually a good tidbit there. Like, woof is a way to say whoa. In old movies. Oh. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for that. We don't actually watch a lot of older movies. We, 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 we mean to. It's just... Um, <laughs> we're getting through as such as... And with our time schedule. Yes. Uh, this toy appears to be a tie-in for Hoopla... Br Hoopla! Please don't... Hoopla! Do you guys remember that Spongebob episode? Right? It's all just a bunch of... Sounds like a lot of Hoopla! Sounds like a lot of Hoopla! <laughs> Doink! All right. Sounds like a lot of Hoopla. Child-friendly okay. smoking alternative in concurrently running hoopla advertisements. Okay. Hey, what you waiting for, Howdy? Oh, I'll take it's a so pack and a light. But what about me, Uncle Howdy? Ah, oh, sorry, little Howdy and Yodo, but this just ain't for kids. Now hold it. If they want in on the fun, they can have one of Barnaby's bubbly play pipes, sponsored by Hoopla. This looks like it's a good, completely like a safe, safe from, uh... and kids can pretend they're blowing big streams of bubbles. Yahoo! Now we can have a hoopla too. Wait, can you play that again? That which part? That whole. The whole thing. We can have a hoopla too. I did start. I don't know. Hey, what are you waiting for, Howdy? I'll take a pack and a light. I'm scared. What is this? Oh, I don't me, Uncle Howdy. Ah, oh, sorry, little Howdy and Yodo, but this just ain't for kids. Now hold it. If they want in on That's the fun, they can have yeah. one of Barnaby's bubbly play pipes, sponsored by Hoopla. 
It's completely safe, and kids can pretend they're blowing big streams of bubbles. Yahoo! Now we can have a hoopla, too. Okay, hi Dallas. Oh, okay, I'm forming. Yeah. Hello there, Dallas. I'm forming. A, I'm forming a theory. All right. Because it's very specifically here that the weird yeah, right. sound came back. What if the, the the true villain of Welcome Home is capitalism? Oh. Uh. No, but it's but true. you know, yeah. you know, like uh, I, there's not a lot, enough uh, uh, like information, but but like what tends to poison uh, a kids show? Capitalism. Over marketing. True, true. Right. Yeah, if you don't do it right, it can kill. Hi, Leo and Stitch fan. Also, this is like a little um, what you call it summary of this very big thing, Dallas. Um. This, there's there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, welcome to Welcome Home. If you've caught any previous Welcome Home things, um, it is an unfiction or like art project about this old uh cartoon show called Welcome Home that is currently going uh, undergoing restoration. However, there's this sort of thing where like something sinister lies beneath the surface, uh, and it's it's uh the site's up constant updates, not constant, like, the site's updates kind of provide more insight into what could have happened that led to the show shutting down. So yeah, fun little ARG slash unfiction slash art project. Yeah, and Z-Chops, it's really true though, if you think about it. The, the Flintstones, beloved by a lot of people, we love them. Oh yeah. But they're very infamous for promoting cigars. Oh back yeah. In the, like, back in the day. Uh, I know, like, uh sesame street built for like you know um built for children who can't uh who can't necessarily get proper education and you know it's accessible great all that but it eventually turned into a lot of marketing and uh buying merchandise and all that if you think of all the the great children's tv shows they eventually just kind of devolve into like merchandise and like uh tie-ins to all that like all other kind of shows and like all other kinds of like different things to like sell some sort of product Dude, the flintstones in the early days wasn't exactly for young young children i know it's yes, like a exactly. family show it's a family show that's the thing but like nowadays it's kind of cursed to see the flintstones cartoon characters Selling you um, cigars, you know, it, it it has the same energy. If you watch the advertisements, it has the same energy as watching Star Wars with the beer. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they just kind of whip it out, like the cigars just kind of well, whip them up. The problem could be over commercialization since their exactly. toys are way too expensive for 1974 money. I know you. I think you yeah. commented that you commented um, like five dollars is like thirty five dollars in today's money. Yeah, five cents was it? Five cents. Yeah. Uh, five five dollars. It was dollars. And I I was actually thinking about that too while we were going through it. I was like, that that. You know, adjusted for inflation, because that seems like a lot. But like, and some put it uh, put it very well. Like, yeah, the over commercialization I think might be the true villain here, true and villain. like the the black ooze could be a manifestation of that, like a personification of corporate uh, greed. Corporate greed, exactly, exactly. Because at the end of the day, corporate greed is the thing that kills like. Uh, intellectual properties that's the whole thing with uh what's that what's that little short called the one where um uh everything was getting canceled uh all the cartoons are getting canceled and then it oh, turned into a pixelated the blob <laughs> oh, they're rooks pibby P- yeah Hi, that was the whole thing with pibby and how was uh was the cancellation uh portrayed big black blob Pixelated, of course, but still. So yeah. A uh, bug, a bye, and good night, and ode to hibernation. Maybe those toys were towards the end of uh, Welcome Home's life before the show fully ended. Possible. Possible. As the winter chills in chill rolls into home, the neighbors, the neighborhood's plethora of insects tuck away to slumber away the season. The resident nature nurturer Frank, frankly, is there to bid them all good night. 
The Welcome Home Restoration team has been lucky to recover this sweet and somber song in its entirety, album cover, insert sleeve, and restored track. You want to listen to this one? Sure. What if the writers created... If what the writers created for them affected their world, does that mean the ads start affecting the characters the same way the episodes did? Ooh. Probably could. Probably could. That, that, that's that's where my point comes in. Like, um, It becomes more bastardized the more they start selling different items. The thing is, the thing is, this is the fickle thing about working with an IP. And uh, we're not just talking about, like, from, like, caffeine standpoint. Like, we're, we're talking from, like, when we used to work for a studio. Uh, like, we were, uh, like, we worked essentially in, uh, like, a department that helps produce IP. Like, you know, like, we were trying to make, uh, or at least produce, um... Like shows essentially, and one of the things that we need to consider is like one of the biggest things that we were told to consider is marketability and how to properly sell merchandise, and that's not a bad thing. Like from from our perspective, uh, like you know, oh, we need money like that, but um, on a different like different side of things, right? Like. Like well, a lot of people just say, "Oh, don't make me into a marketable plushie." That's where that's where the money for production goes into. So it's understandable that you'd want an IP to produce merchandise to generate revenue that can be brought back into the production. So it's understandable that shows like uh, Welcome Home, Sesame Street, The Flintstones, Blue's Clues would produce products that. Um, children or even parents would buy so that that money can be brought back to making more episodes to making to paying uh the writers the animators the like set designers like everybody because at the end of the day like you know it is also like quite a lot of work to do that and you know of course not everybody's gonna do it for free or no one's gonna do it for free <laughs> that's just the reality of things right the thing is the thing is, personally, I believe there should be a balance of uh, where the money, uh, like, and how much money you should be generating uh, in terms of production, and not just because you want to fill your pockets. And, like, that's kind of the thing, like, for us, anything that we make on Caffeine is literally brought back to Caffeine, because, like, we're just, we're just funneling everything to make this channel work, right? But there's a lot of studios out there, a lot of like uh, a lot of different businesses that just kind of try to funnel as much as they can back into their like you know like bank accounts rather than the actual production. That's why you get a lot of merchandise, but the actual show sucks or it's no longer the best that it was. It's because they're trying to like minimize costs while increasing uh, profit, essentially. And what if that's what's happening with like with Welcome Home at the tail end of things? The more things uh, like you know, they get cut, stories are getting a little more commercial, and at the same time, a little less like like there's no soul. Yeah, I as you as you could say, it has no soul anymore, and that manifests in universe for them and that's why the black void comes in as if it's soulless right that welcome is- home being the titular character becomes the primary well the primary victim of this soulless uh commercialization that's why the black sludge comes from home that's possible you know that was that was a theory in and of itself yeah so it was it was so working theory, but eventually it turned into something. We'll elaborate on this on the next episode. Learning how to animate is a pain. Oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pain. It's a pain. If I could tell my stories by just blurting out everything, like I, I would. I'm so sorry. I what did not send the thing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Okay, okay, guys, don't don't blame Lisa on this. She's normally the one who uh, she's normally the one who posts it on Discord. Don't blame Lisa on this. That's completely my bad because she's been taking care of me all morning because I've been having like a really big. 
I've been I've been having a like migraines all morning. That's why we're late as well. Sweet. Lisa made me coffee because apparently caffeine helps with migraines. It's it's working actually. She she made like some food and all of that. So yeah, Lisa took care of me this morning. I'm not. I'm pretty sure. I'm ninety percent sure she didn't add anything else to the coffee though. Poppy seeds. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so where were we? I'm so sorry, Burger. I was like, we were we were rushing because he had a migraine, and I'm just like, um. Yeah, that's, that's completely my bad. Like Lisa, Lisa was actually quite the quite the superstar this morning. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Hi, Scaly. We're looking through the update of Welcome Home. If you haven't seen anything prior to Welcome Home, it's an art project slash ARG slash unfiction that deals with a show that was canceled or stopped at some point around the 70s, 60s, 70s, and now there's a restoration project working on reviving the thing or at least bringing back memories of it. But it turns out there's something sinister happening beneath. And it really can go back in the okay, um, quick summary. Um, Spooky Sesame Street. Spooky Sesame Street. <laughs> The painkillers be with you, Z. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Caffeine pills. Oh, if we don't have coffee, do we have caffeine pills? <laughs> Dude, I, I I am afraid of caffeine pills because I'm probably just gonna keep popping them like Tic Tacs. And I had a huge problem with Tic Tacs back in the day. Like I I finished like two containers a day. I had a problem. That is insane. We're, We're never, never getting any of those. Mango orange Tic Tacs no. taste amazing, okay? <laughs> We're gonna listen to Bugga Bye. Good night. It's a story. It's spooky Sesame Street, really. Alright. The sun is low. It's cold and dark. Just oh. wind. find it sad, but I understand. Even if I the hat man. As the holidays begin to approach, I gently kiss each and every rose. Uh -oh. I made sure to keep my garden cozy so you can safely sleep in fallen posy. Time to get comfortable in your honeycomb. Take your winter intermission in your garden low. Neatly nestled from the cold and roots in rhizomes. Sleeping side by side under stately stones. And I'll be inside my Mental sensibility. I enjoy my methodical mundanity. Where all Ooh. that's left is me. Oh, okay. That adds to the 
Frank uh, theory from last time. Frank is a classically trained pianist. He's a he's a true, true gentleman. gentleman. Yeah, but that adds to the idea because like that last bit, it's like it's only tacked on at the end, and it seems like he's very unsure. Um, yeah. Frank also mentioned how does Frank handle Julia hibernating? It's the one. Oh, thing he, we got. I was actually about to say, what if this entire uh, what if, what if it, this entire uh, song was actually about Julie? Awesome. If you think about it, it's like the way that uh, he describes uh, the hibernation process could also apply to Julie. And that's why this last bit, you know, I'll be the one to tell you you just can't stay, you know, regardless of how I feel, you go away. Like, he's saying this about Julie, one. And then, like, the last bit could be an addition that... He's actually saying this about everybody. Like, you can also... Like, this could also be, like, one of those... All the puppets are in hibernation at this point. Like, say, 2024. Like, they're actually in hibernation, and that's why they're all missing. Only Eddie's the one that's left. And uh, this line over here, specifically, kind of... Uh, kind of stands out. The idea that... Hurt is here is very interesting. Like one last check that nothing's amiss. Uh, I can see you safe into your chrysalis. As you snuggle down in dirt, I want to assure you that I won't be hurt. You can uh, interpret this in many different ways. Like he's sending off Julie, and uh, he's. Telling Julie, um, you know, while you're asleep, I'll be okay. It could also be that, like, this is him looking at his friends in their chrysalis state. Because I mean, they're all like, you know, like, this is a reach. You know, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm okay, essentially, that kind of thing. Or it could be literal, and he's saying, like, you know, Oh, I will see you guys, like the bugs, I will see you guys go down into the dirt. You guys, like, you know, will be sleeping, I'll be okay, because there's a giant bug-eating monster that comes out at night, and you guys are all, like, all, like, out in the open, so good luck with that. <laughs> For, uh, so Songul has also mentioned, uh, it could be, like, with Eddie. I mean, like, the so reason we also chose, like, Julie for this one is because she's noted to hibernate. Yeah, yeah. So, like, she's noted to hibernate, so... Like, we're still not sure. Your theory could be right, our theory could yeah. be wrong. We, we don't know anything. Also, Burger says, I wonder if the spooky horrors breaking your PNGs are gone now. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, but no, for some reason, like... Uh, okay, so it, it, did it start with the welcome home thing? It actually started, uh... While we were doing some animation for um for Camille, for some reason um like our uh, uh PNG tuber software uh honk uh, it it kind of like started glitching out the other day, and uh, since then it hasn't really worked properly. If you guys noticed uh Camille and the uh, two cents too spooky, her mouth is going haywire. That that's why, but yeah, like uh, we 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 we're working on it. We're, we're, we're I'm gonna try looking into it again more later. So yeah, I thought I fixed it. Thing. It's just because uh, this is like a setup for like browser. Oh, no, like you know, it should it work should. regardless. Yeah, but still, like it it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's been crashing a lot the past couple of days. Maybe there's a new update. Maybe. The set of homewarming greeting cards. There is quite a bit of mystery surrounding these charming homewarming greeting cards. Oh, we don't know the manufacturer. Oh. Yes. Were they all sold together or as multiple sets? Are they even from the same era of Welcome Home's run? Regardless of where they came from, one thing is for certain. They're as sweet as can be. Additionally, these cards, the cards have served as confirmation of some of Julie Joyful's features and habits as a rainbow monster, including hibernating soundly through the winter season. Oh, she's this actually that's actually really cute. Also, side note, this actually adds to my uh, to my theory earlier. Yeah. Notice how large this. 
Yeah, it's more. Right? There's a lot more. And a lot of these don't make sense. If you think about it. Why are there tie-in? Like, everybody gets a tie-in. Like, uh, cereal, you know? And you know you've made it in, like, whatever business you're doing if you have a tie-in cereal. But that's just it. If you've made it, that means that means you're already over-commercialized. We should get cereal. <laughs> Guys, do you want coffee and bread cereal? <laughs> None of it will be cereal. It's not coffee flavor, it's Lisa flavor. Ah, 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 my body. I thought that said roasted, and I'm like, roasted? Oh, 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 oh. 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 It's a sniper. Oh, I have to get a pen and paper out for this one. Oh, man, this is going to be a lot. Ah, oh, God. Right, okay, let me go back to this. Like, okay, hold on. Open image and new tab. Okay, I got... Side note, back to the coffee. Like, uh, the coffee ciphers, I fully admit, it's my bad. But, like, the coughed over ciphers were a little confusing. So, again, big shout out to Jason for, like, decoding most of the, most of the codes there. I... So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, crispy, sweet. We're gonna make it a little easier next time we do something like this. Yes. Uh, could taste even better. With the winter season around the corner, it only made sense for a frosted version of Wally's favorite cereal to hit grocery store shelves. Even the updated holiday box art depicted Wally and Barnaby in their warmest winter best. With this limited time treat, we were also a able to uncover the back side of the packaging, featuring a holiday theme to code a ring puzzle with their own... Eddie, Eddie dear. Eddie, Eddie isn't it? Eddie. Uh, did you say Lisa flavored it uh cannibalism? Read their descriptions. Which description? Uh are they? Okay. Uh oh the character ones. Uh okay. Uh We're gonna eat Lisa Eddie. To send secret messages to your closest friends with your with this home warming treat. Okay, you son of a bitch. I swear to God. Okay, we're gonna go, go all the way, way up, up again. Like, go all, all the way, way up. up. We're gonna go continue, like, the pages. Let's go check out the media, because I swear to God. I swear to God. If there's more media, I'll fucking... Okay, live interview segment. Animation sells from Julie Rella. Just so song demo. Okay, there's that mystery audio. We've also seen that. There's nothing new in media. Oh, oh my God. God. That, that, that does kind of emphasize that merchandise. Merchandise is the... A big thing. Okay, then there's the Playfellow exhibition. Um, that is a hot dog. Oh, we okay, okay. Two thousand. We found the uh, the the cipher for yeah. the codes. Um, we found this. Uh, howdy, okay. neighbor! Give this uh, here craft a whirl. We use the oh, welcome oh. home decoder to make or uh, break Thanks. secret go codes. codes. I, I thought, thought that said to make me. bread. What but is home? Where at parties? Hi. That and I also went Pepe Sylvia about how cap capitalism is the true bad guy. Okay, we've seen these. Oh, um, how about this one? This is... a hand. Was that a claw? Oh, that was a hand. In a club. Listen, pal. Time is jokes, and if I'm not laughing, then I don't have time. Actually, I don't have plenty of time in stock. On aisle two, next to the bananas. But I give my girl spaghetti box. flavored cereal. <laughs> <laughs> is uh. All right, all right. You're giving me nothing to work with, buddy. I only deal in funny business. And it looks like you're running low, pal. So long. Get it? Okay. Like a caterpillar. <laughs> um, has anybody tried Kraft Mac and Cheese Gummies? The what? Did What did you say? I'm vegan, so gelatin bone meal is off the menu, but trust me, cheesy gummies got me curious. The what? There's cheesy gummies? Like, like it's the pasta gummies? Like, the, the gummy, gummy is flavored Or, like, the cheese is cheese? gummy. I'm sorry. Is it gummy flavored mac and cheese? Because you can replicate that without using bone meal. You can use uh, agar agar, and uh, like uh, I think it's what do they use for flavoring? Um, what was it again? 
Um, it's it's uh, it's it's like some yellow powder you use for vegan cheese. Uh, I forget what it is, but I'm very well aware of it because I'm lactose intolerant. But you can just mix those two and make like gummy bears that are flavored like. Some girl, what monstrosity have you said? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it feels relevant that the one giving you the code is Eddie. It does. It does, it does. Alright. Um, we asked the question answerer what drew them into our search for this lost media. They responded, It seems like everything these days is already neatly catalogued and answered down to the finest details. You can find a book or a website or what have you to answer any old question that might cross your mind. But Welcome Home was different. The more I looked at it, the more questions there were, and not an answer in sight. It was like a puzzle box that had never been opened before, just begging to be investigated. How could I possibly resist a mystery like that, especially in such a charming and colorful package? It was like a calling. A calling I just had to answer. Me too! Additionally, we asked how they enjoyed the experience when it ended. What could possibly compare? Holding all these puzzle pieces in your hands, looking into Wally Darling's sweet eyes. What the fuck? What up? Hearing that little toy phone ring for the first time since the 70s. There's truly nothing like it. I still Wait, so it called? Uh, Call. I still have so many questions to answer here in the world of Welcome Home. So much work left to do. If it was a calling that brought me here, then that phone is still re ringing. It was like a calling, calling. like a, a calling type of thing, not a physical call. It could be. It could mean both. It could mean both. It could mean both. And, wait, what do they mean by everything? Every like where? It seems like everything these days is already neatly cataloged and answered. Like, yeah, the idea, exactly. It's like exactly. the idea of what I'm saying. Like, it could have a double meaning, but at least the surface. Um, he means to say, oh, what led you to this lost media? It's like, oh, it feels like everything these days already has, like, an answer. You know, like, when you look up lost media, you can just, like, find things. That, it's not true, though. Like, and that's why it's called lost media. Yeah, like, that's... that's so, like, I... if you were to double and ponder it, it could be, I don't know... Do we have all the puzzle pieces and we solve it? That's the thing. Or, that's like, is there going to be another update with, like, the answer? <laughs> I love Eventually. this. Side note, I love this interaction. Um, I found a box of cheese gummies at my local five below. I'll post it on the meme Discord. Songo, crying, and some cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. It's like, all right, we will. We will. And some. Okay, so this is what I recommend you guys do. Okay. Completely out of welcome home right now talking about oh, yeah. get some agar agar get some bone meal and just mix a different kinds of shit into it <laughs> like soy sauce flavored gummy bears um hot sauce flavored gummy bears uh i don't know what, what roast beef flavored gummy bears um Dude, we've just been called a thespian hot fellow thespian ah! pizza flavored gummy bears not you name it, you know, you name it. All right, name I will it. be right back. I'm crying for the neighbors, not the gummies. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were that. Dude, okay, fine. Songo, you can cry about the neighbors because I'll be crying about the gummies. I do. Okay, what, what amazing flavors of gummies can we make, guys? Guys, let's, let, while Lisa's gone, let's note down what kind of amazing flavors can we come up with, okay? Um, so right now, uh, soy sauce, Lisa, um, roast beef. <laughs> what else could be so bizarre? Um, it's normally they're fruit. They're normally fruit. Mango, mango gummies are actually pretty good. I've had mango gummies before. They're they're, they're pretty good. Arrowroot gum. And uh, yeast for, I think yeah, I think those are the things for the the cheese, quote unquote. Apple pectin for apple pectin. Like personally, I I find apple pectin as not really a great alternative for um for like gelatin specifically. Uh, I prefer agar agar. It's just uh, it, it's uh. Seaweed byproduct, I think, or seaweed based product. So it, it's completely vegan as far as I know. Um, it just holds together a lot better. Like uh, pectin, working with pectin when I used to make jams, uh, it's just kind of goopy instead of uh, gelatinous. 
kind of weird. And it doesn't hold as much... Uh, like, if you're making gummies specifically, you need a lot of gelatin and a lot of agar-agar. But, like, I don't think pectin could, could work. For, like, I, I think maybe, like, uh, fruit roll-up would be better for uh, pectin. Shrimp-filled ice cream! Let's go! Shrimp-filled ice cream gummies. Bacon gummy sounds really greasy, though. I've had bacon ice cream, though. That, 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 that is something that I've had before. And it tastes pretty good, like maple bacon ice cream. That, that tastes good. Uh, my brother's girlfriend actually recently brought back... Um, what's it called? Um, Chili-flavored ice cream from Singapore. It was really good, because she went to the Aeris store, and... Uh, she brought back some ice cream. I don't know what the connection was. I, apparently, she just found it in the airport. But it tastes exactly like peppers, specifically bell peppers, in my opinion. But it was in it, it its scratch, the throat. Yeah. But ice cream flavored chili gummies or, or, or shrimp flavored ice cream gummies. That, 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 that is. Have you actually tasted Lisa? You seem to be very familiar with her flavors. Is it literally? Okay, so I can I can taste whatever like I smell. That that's just the thing. I it's think I have some flavor. Spaghetti. <laughs> okay, okay. So 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 Lisa Lisa walked by me yesterday. Okay, and I I I I cannot tell you how much parmesan was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was in the air when she walked by. Do you, do you just like, wait, hold on, get over here, why? And then he sips my head, he's like, Parmesan! <laughs> given, given, she did step out to walk, and it's been hot, okay? <laughs> I'm saying your scalp got cooked by the sun, now you have spaghetti, it smells like Parmesan. Any cinnamon, uh, parmesan, add parmesan to that. Um, you think like the whole like, oh, what's how do you taste? It's like no, you just straight up say parmesan and like that. Any connotation of what you think it could be? It's gone, gone. Okay, so, um, would you like? Remember, to guys, any any argument Lisa makes, okay, it's all automatically invalid because she smells like parmesan. All right. Do you want to go through the? the code wait oh my oh, god yeah. i can go through like the code myself as well like okay is it done like are we done with the um we are done with yeah like everything wow yeah, are... okay that took uh, that took its time um okay hold on i can do th i can do this I can... uh the best practice animation if you're just starting out kai is ball oh yeah like like try to learn how to uh, how to animate a ball like a bouncing ball that is the most basic thing everyone learns in animation school. Um, like a bouncing ball, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So start with that, and once you you have the bouncing ball, you can make like a little like thing where you add a tail so that it moves with the ball. All right. That's what we were taught. If you don't want to do that, same principle. You can use a skull. You can use a uh, jumping gerbil. I'm gonna go get a pen and paper. You... Lisa's gonna go get a pen and paper. So while Lisa is out, Parmesan flavored gummies, people. Parmesan flavored gummies. <laughs> Thoughts. Thoughts. Yeah. Hey, lavender and rose water smells amazing. Like, not gonna lie, though. Like, uh, like that, that, that's a very comforting smell. Turning on the lights. No! Ah! <laughs> Why did you turn on the lights? Why is it so white? At least oh, yeah, put it right, into right. the orange light. There we go. That's, I guess, better. Do I have sunglasses? <laughs> I do have sunglasses. Where are they? <laughs> it's okay. Where are my sunglasses, actually? They're your sunglasses. I had to turn them on. Yeah, I haven't seen reading. them since summer, actually. <laughs> like, last summer. Last summer. I don't use sunglasses, but, like, I haven't seen them since last summer. Also, I had to turn on the lights because I need to see what we're going to do. He's a vampire right. bat, confirmed. Confirmed. Hey, I'm human. I'm human. 
I am a human. Hello, what y'all stream you. stream schedule um for then? Um Uh okay, so uh another week, okay. Actually, um we are planning on like actually plotting out our yeah. stream schedule for so, like okay, so this is what we're planning on right now. We're going to be we're we're going to try to start putting out a stream schedule because we realize we we have been going live practically every single day now. Yes. So if you guys want to check us out, we're, we're probably live uh, during the evening streams. This is the morning stream, by the way, because like where we are, it's mornings. So most of you guys, it's probably evening. So that's how it works. We're probably in the evening streams. Um, Mostly every day, except Wednesdays, that's normally reserved for mics. Um, we just don't go live Monday evenings. So, yeah. Um, we're going to try putting out a stream schedule once uh, the Camille project is done. And it's coming to an end very soon. But that doesn't mean that the Coffee story nor Camille's story will end. It's just this particular story will be coming to its conclusion soon. So, yeah. Yeah. How is that possible? I okay. So, I used to live in India. Okay, I used to live in um, uh, Tamil Nadu, Chennai. Um, for some ungodly reason, they had a shit ton of mango orange um, flavored Tic Tacs. It tasted like their mangoes. I don't particularly like their mangoes, but for some reason those Tic Tacs tasted so good. So when I when I eventually moved to Bangkok, um, I bought like a like almost a box worth of them because I I just had them all throughout middle school like every single day. But while I was in Bangkok, I just kind of burned through the entire box for quite a while. Like I'd have like two two packets of them every day to the point where my pockets would be sticky my hands would be sticky tic tac smell everywhere like stale tic tacs i was not a great person to be around that time though though if you have bad breath i was your best friend <laughs> so yeah yeah we've been we've been streaming a lot so and it it, it uh what you call it uh, our schedule is like, oh, the rough time of it is around this time. But yeah, like the reason why we haven't been like on schedule a lot is because one, um, during February and like since January actually, things have been a little rocky since uh, my parents recently retired and like they've been kind of uh, <laughs> kind of pulling us out of the studio to like have little adventures every once in a while, and we can't predict when those happen. But uh, specifically February and March. Uh, February was Lisa's birthday, um, and March was uh, March was my grandma and my dad's birthday. So we we had quite a lot of adventures. You're talking so much about no, no, I smelled good. That's the thing. I smelled good. I smelled like mango and orange. Okay, it was just I was sticky. Sticky too. Just, just for good measure. We're just like okay. You've been talking about smells a lot, huh? Like, oh, yeah. remember cousin said seawater and plain sand soil. See, that's yeah, that is, straight up. Cuisine from Chennai, like southern India, tastes amazing. They don't like me, though. They don't like me. That's all I'm going to say. Oh no. oh, no. Okay. Do you want to start with the... The cypher? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you, Lisa has the cypher on her laptop. You guys are looking at my laptop right now. So, so... There it is, okay? There are a bunch of words here, uh, letters here. All right, okay, so, so we see an I. Um, what is, what is the M? That is, a, is that an M? God damn it all, why is it a circle? That is- It's an M. That's an M. I'm! What's in the bottom? That's a house, can you- The house. That's the house. Where the hell's the house? Hello there, Jason, we have a cipher. <laughs> Jason, you would not believe- Hello oh there, Minty Chu, how are you, how what are you? Oh, also, also, Jason, again, like I was saying earlier, it was completely my bad that the cipher was a little difficult and we didn't actually put a cipher during uh, the Cofftober, um, the Cofftober uh, videos. 
but you're still an MVP for decoding most of them. Oh, all of them, except for like, you know, like what the meaning of the last one was. So, yeah. I just get I am O and A. I am I Moa. I am Moa. It's Jason Momoa. <laughs> okay, guys, confirm Jason Momoa is in Welcome Home. Really? Is there anything else? Right. The tree is oh. in A. Whoa. What? Oh, control tab apparently shifts tabs. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can't control A anymore. Oh, okay. Wait, the, you can kind of see what the square oh, okay, of where yeah. the the codes are. Like a bear dog, I remember people by their sense. That's how my mom is too. Yeah, I also remember people by their sense. Like um, some people have just have really strong sense, Lisa. <clears throat> what? Damn it! Is I swear to God, if you say it in the spaghetti. <laughs> Fun is there. Uh, what you call it? Um, the most I remember interviewing oh, people with sense. Oh, there's wait. none here. None, not a single thing. About us. Okay. What about us? What about everything we've been through? Trust. Oh, okay. there. That. It's uh oh. either a shoe or a half-eaten baguette. R. R. Good. Okay. Also, TS was a cipher. TS isn't a cipher. It's it's not. So it's really it's it's a lot easier to explain. Okay. Um, a over here. Oh, there is next to Eddie. There Eddie. is a mail. Okay, so like, which page is the stickers? Stickers. Um, news. Okay. I just all I remember was when I when I was a freshman in high school, all I remember is my crush having this like smelling like bread, like freshly baked bread. And part of my brain now when I like, you know, whenever like that topic comes up, it's just like did I just like him because he smelled like bread? <laughs> oh also Jason, just this just to uh throw you off the curb here, okay? Once you figure out what T S means, it's going to it's going to destroy your theories. Like I like you and like burgers and uh and uh guests theories on the discord you guys you guys have a lot of theories ts will destroy most of it <laughs> you got a lot right well we'll give you guys credit you guys, you guys got, got a lot, lot right. right but like got a lot right okay I found that like that cigarette is a why not a bad reason to like someone thank you mystery audio what's it wait 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 scroll down there's nothing here Oh, there is. Oh, I didn't see that. Slow down. Um, what is that? Um, it's uh, I think it's a shoe in snow. Either that or a weird-looking bird. Okay. Stinky together. No, I'm not blessed at all. <laughs> <Wait to stinks. laughs> all right. Um, go check out uh the next page. Merchandise? This is the big doozy, actually. Yeah. Um, keep going. You guys mentioned that there was another website. Yeah, there's a secret site. Oh, we, we can go to the secret site, actually. The, the, the secret site. I wonder if it's still in the same domain. Actually, yeah. Nothing so far. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. Oh, there. Oh, what's that? Uh, uh, either a solar system or a plane. A P. Oh, it's a P. Oh, okay. Okay. Anything? Else? Oh, cigarette. Cigarette. Welcome home. Wish book. What is the cigarette? Why? Okay. This doesn't spell out anything. Like it's just. Taco pack. Oh, another oh. one of those. Either it's a shoe or a half-eaten bagel. Or a uh, baguette. Sorry, I don't know, not baguette. Um, croissant. croissant. Okay, keep going. Okay, it's, we're done. 
They still help me revamp my theories. Coolio. Um, the neighborhood. Oh, the neighborhood had a lot. The neighborhood had the most. Is there anything outside of the map? No. All right, now zoom in, boy. All right. So, um, starting from the top, Julie has a bowling pin. A bowling pin is. Where the fuck are you? S. S. Um, is this a cipher? No, no, that's not. Not right. You can tell because the ink uh, is different. It's thicker. It's uh. Um. um Someone should really clean home. It looks like it's drying out. Like I, I feel like you can kind of chip it off with your finger, you know. Add email. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, hot, hot dog. dog for howdy. Wait, where the what the hell is a hot dog here? I have to tilt my head all over. There and and oh, there. there. Okay. Um, that is a bug. Bug? Where? That is a. Bug. Oh, I thought that was a bag. Then nothing in uh nothing in Barney Bees. Oh, oh, go to each individual. Oh, go to Wally's. Go to Wally's. Um. Yeah, like you know, I'm just checking out like sure. house. Has. How about Sally? Sally. Um, how about Poppy? Papa Porino? Papa. Paparazzi? How about. Eddie? D -D 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 -D? Double D? Double D. Oh, he's actually a double D. That's cute. Nothing on double D's over here. Um. Uh, howdy? Howdy, neighbor. Howdy. Nothing. Howdy pillar. Nothing on howdy over here. Barnaby. Barna beetle. Barnabert. Barnabert. Everyone has e names that end in e except for Frank. Frank. Well, he has to be a little Frank, you know. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie why, why are you crying? <laughs> what do you know that we don't? Okay. Wait, is Eddie crying? Oh. Um. How about here? Frank. There's nothing with Frank here right now. It's just, it's just Frank. Yeah, we've already checked Julie. Yeah, we've already checked Julie. Yeah, Wally. that's uh, right, Wally. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. There. Oh, there. Gravy cup. Gravy cup. Wally. Okay. What we currently have right now is send for the boo. <laughs> send for the boo. I don't know that Eddie's crying and I'm crying. Boy! Can you can, can you make out something right now? Okay, um, go check the other page while I try yeah. to figure it out. Because, like, it's, it's, uh... Where are we right now? Um... Media or Playfellow Experience? Uh, check media. We're done with, um... I am... Take this media there? Yeah, media is there. Okay. Stickers. Stickers. Oh. Oh wait, is there a internet? Are we connected? Uh, hello. Hello there, good sir. Hello. Hello. Are we are we offline now? Hello? Okay, Hello? We're, still, we're still online. Oh, no. Oh, okay. What? Is it because what? This goes to HTTPS stickers, that's why. Oh, okay, I think something... That's was... not an actual website. That's actually just HTTPS stickers. Oh, okay, so maybe go to another spot. No. <laughs> there we go, okay. Um, Clown... Just so you know, there's something wrong with one of the buttons. Yeah, this is on the one page. It works it's everywhere just, else. Yeah, it works everywhere else. Oh, yeah. oh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. No, you're offline. Like, can't hear you all. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Eddie, oh. Um, the letter. Okay, yeah, we already have that. We already have it. No, 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 for stickers. Yeah, we already have it here. 
Oh, you, we already went through stick. Yeah, apparently. Okay. You pause the video. What? 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 There's a video? What? What video? What video? What? You guys hear something that we don't? Okay, um... Um... Wait, so... Play fellow exhibition. Yeah. Oh, hot dog immediately. What's hot dog again? N? Yes. N? Oh, whoa. Sorry. Not you, not me. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Nothing. All right. Guess book. Guess book is the last one. Oh, gravy, gravy, gravy. Oh. W W W. Wait, is that a is that a website? Oh my God, you're right. www. Dot. Yeah, rest in peace, stream. What do you mean? Okay. Oh, okay. You guys are okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. We we're good. We're good. No, no, it's not that we need to refresh. It's actually uh, the link is HTTPS stickers. Like, yeah, the link is broken. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know if it's our end or like oh, it's actually the website, but it's, uh, the neighborhood map expanded. It did look bigger, and like the crossroads clock post. Yeah, I did notice. Like, and I thought it's like, has it there? Always been there or nah? Oh, you mean the map itself? Yeah, look, look, look. um, that. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah that's, that's new, right? Wait, can we click on it? Oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay, now, um, guys. <laughs> the hell do we do now? Oh, wait, actually, um... Wait. How do we get to the the spooky website? Um, I remember what you call it. Pain. I love saying pain. It's new. It's new. The new one. Okay, maybe the cipher is a code. Maybe. I wonder what changed in the gallery. Oh, the gallery of what? Uh, in, in the... the gallery. Which one? The Playfell exhibition or the merchandise? What was it originally? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, what the, the clock face. Yeah, I feel like the clock face could be another character that was never mentioned. Because normally, like, say, um, going back to Blue's Clues, everybody had a face. But this, for some reason, this strikes me as, uh, um,. The mailbox character, what's his name? Like, uh, here's the mail, it never, never fails. fails, it makes me want to wag my tail. <laughs> uh, something, something, uh, the tail. Oh. I, don't, I don't know, it gives all the same vibe. Away from prying eyes. No, it's new. The 54 images that became 44, did the gallery change again? Oh, right, you mentioned something about um the gallery, and um, I think it was... The hell was it? Um, was it the one from here? The one where you can scroll and then you can like see a bunch of like the stuff. That was the original game theory. The the the, the raspy rattling voice. It's this one, right? It was this page that like you scroll and then you see a lot of the stuff. Great, it's gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. They're just it's, Sam, it's gone. That's the update. It's, it's the gone. Update. There's just none. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's like it's been scattered actually. Yeah, it's been I I think it's been scattered. Scattered all throughout the So mailbox. Cause like, I don't know, like uh I guess, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Happy anniversary. Anniversary to what? Wait, uh, what you call it this time last year? What what happened this time last year? What happened this time last year? What's, what is going on? Wait, there was one. 
Uh, wait, where were we? No, back! Where? Back, you beast! Back, you beast. Back. beast, where? Oh, oh where? What is that? The about page? About us? About us. What about us? What about everything we've been It's the very first thing that uh, comes up. A. Hey. Hey. It's Welcome Home like a cartoon or something. Like, um, it's... Welcome Sorry. Home is, uh... Like, uh... I guess, like... A puppet show? Yeah. In story, in universe. But yeah. like in our universe, it's an ARG. Yeah. So if you guys are enjoying uh, what we're doing with uh with uh the coffee and lore and you guys aren't familiar with Welcome Home, you guys might like Welcome Home. If you guys like Welcome Home but you're not familiar with Coffee and Lore, you guys might like Coffee and Lore. <laughs> I saw your I saw your first declassified and I've haunted your stream since a ghost. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're we're okay. So uh, Lisa found something recently that she's been kind of like locked onto. So the next declassified may not be Welcome Home. We don't know yet. Uh, it really depends on how the flow goes. But but we do want to branch out to other um, ARGs and mysteries. So um, we will be looking like making one episode for this new update definitely but this might take a while because there's a lot that we need to like break down before we can get to there so there might be an episode before this one that tackles another mystery so found us with our first look at welcome home uh -huh. what this homeware at parties i saw oh, that it's a dress a dress i don't know get it what does he wear a dress Where'd you get that? There! Ah! Because yeah, it's a dress. But thank you. Hello, Angel. It is! What? A website! It's an address! It's an address! Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, so the cipher leads to a website. So it's www. We wait, wait. Link? Holy shit! I just realized. Well, okay. Okay. Okay, um. I don't. A M O A. No. It's doing the thing again. This is a new website. Okay. No, no, no. This is a new domain. Yes. So that means uh, the, the, these could actually be sending us to somewhere else. Like the last uh, W. Away from prying eyes. You said that again. What? What is the? What is the? Can I? After Z types in all of those, I'm. Is Are that we? The thing we put after? Away from. Crying. Crying. I. Yes. Nothing. Did we... Okay, where do Can we, we put, put it? it? I feel, I feel like, like that's important. Wait, wait, give me the pen. Okay. Okay. Is it is are those what the letters crying? I'm double checking, okay, if if this is the thing, okay. I am O It's happening, my heart's not a R A E Y G E Y R N W Okay, we're missing a few letters here. Something. Hello there, silent, smiley face. Okay, so... Oh, S. There are two N's? Yeah, there are two N's. Did we get it right? The house spinning looks like a 3D chip meme. <laughs> I'm double checking, okay? O M R No, I What? 
the fuck? What? What? I just okay. Here's the thing. This is a .dot net okay. project, right? Like not project, like site. I typed in away from prying eyes .dot net. Oh, oh there shit! Goes okay. No. Okay. Uh... Thanks. So. Okay. Uh, how do you how do, uh, what's the web just away from prying eyes from prying eyes dot, dot net. because what I was thinking is that there's, there's www, www right so I was like that's a website so what if we're... Uh, oh is that is this is this where we're at is this it is this correct because it says welcome home oh whoa. whoa w away from prying eyes. Hello, if you have found this page, thank you. It shouldn't have been that difficult to arrive. Oh, come on. We used our massive brain power. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. and us, we combined our forces and brain cells to at least try forming one to get here, okay? We have one brain cell to get here. And yep. I'm proud of you guys. But it would take effort to get here regardless. Yes. Y yes. Some are you right? The Welcome Home Restoration Project is a unified effort that first launched in January 2022. The goal seemed so small for the website, it was to uncover Welcome Home fully and to tell its story. It needed me, I needed it. Everyone started to look at us. You want this as badly as I do. I know you do because you come here again and again to see what I've found. Oh, what the fuck, that's so personal! Side note, when I first saw it on Lisa's page, I was like, oh my god, did we just... Like, because Lisa just typed it in. I was like... Wait, is this some serial killer stuff? <laughs> and I saw Welcome Home Restoration Project. Okay, we're fine. This is a serial killer. <laughs> right? Jesus. Um, I was sure the end was in sight, or at least served as the beginning of it. But since then, nothing has made sense to me. Nothing has come forward or provided leads and dead ends have since piled up. Wait, that doesn't make sense, because the question answer has been providing a lot of the information, so if nothing's been provided... No, no, no like, right? I think it's one of those things where nothing that leads to a particular ending, the the um dead ends have since piled up. Yeah, but, you know, nothing's been provided, that's why the dead ends seem, like, you know, are piling up. Either that or, like, um, call it, no one has come forward, right? Or, provided leads and dead ends have since piled up. Needs a bit of the comma. Um, nothing from our curator who has since recovered. What? Recovered? I don't know what happened to them to become so unwell to create that page. Oh, the the secret the staff page. Something. Wait, is the curator gone? The curator might have been unwell. Hello there, yes. Emmy. How are you? I'm playing y'all in the background while I study. Yeah. Yeah. This is totally not super horrific or anything. Don't worry. There's nothing. To, there's no jump scare. Um, it, this there's is just, what it's just Lisa a considers a cute puppet. So there, it, if it looks scary, but yeah, it kind of does look like. I thought it was a serial killer website. That scared me. I was like, like I, 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 I was horrified. Thought, I honestly thought we were gonna cover a completely different mystery for a second there. Like we had to call the FBI or something. I'm scared when I opened this site. It's like what? The curator is well from the good that infected all. When it has arrived, however, has felt truly upsetting. Huh? Oh? There was something on the old website. We have since remodeled, but everything still feels burned into my mind. Videos, text, crude drawings, invading the space that had been created. I felt nauseous when I found it. I was paranoid too, more so than I have been. Okay. I have been working so diligently to achieve this goal. It's been such a long time. It's al It's been almost four years publicly, and I've yet to truly find it. So much sacrifice, focus, and time. So I created this website to catalog these findings alongside other unconventional recoveries of Welcome Home and its material. I wanted to document this without upsetting individuals who look hopefully at Welcome Home and our efforts. I also don't want our contributor to fi- What? What? Uh... Whoa. Wait, so that means that this whole time the website that's been up, the co the contributor- Hi there, Hexing! Hello there, Hexing. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is them. How could it be? Still, it is better to archive what has shown up rather than destroy it outright. 
I want to make sense of why they would do this. Ah, uh, this is the archive website. Metal wise, like, you know, it'd be a shame to remove all of them. Is this the place where we can actually find the old stuff? Actually. That would be, that'd be fun. That would be fun. That would be great. I want to write about how I've been feeling too. I have no one to write to. If something happens to me, it will be like nothing happened at all. What the hell? Oh, that's an interesting tidbit. Because that's what happened with Welcome Home. Yeah. Our if something happened to it. It's like it never existed. Black market website. I would rest see and Lisa. No! Oh. Not the black market. Love it. Um, okay, I'm gonna turn off the lights. All right. Yeah, we're done with the code. Because like my eyes are. Like, oh yeah, sure. Boiling. Sure. Yeah, our latest update. I hadn't realized so much time had passed. It is already March of 2024 when I write this. So much has rotted in my home since then. I don't want to happen again. I will update as regularly as I can. The website is cleaned now. Nothing should be in there, and I'll make sure it won't happen again. Please give me time as I upload and archive everything on the website from before. Thank you so much for finding us. Don't forget to wave up high. What? 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 Reverse Scandal Cove Theory, right? Who is W? Is that what? Is it Pulse Hydra? Mad. Is it Wally? Or is this like the, the old curator thinking that he's Wally now? Broken phone. What, what the, the hell? hell? I keep tinkering with the welcome home toy phone, or rather I have been playing with it. It plays everything as it should. The only button that consistently changes is Wally's. What oh, the oh. fuck? Which either doesn't play at all or warbles out something incorrectly. Today it rang for me. Oh, Sometimes it rang it for He called you. Senpai noticed you. <laughs> Sometimes it'll do this. I assume a button must be jammed to consistently play that noise. Instinctively, I answer it, but nothing will come out. I have caught myself saying hello into the receiver in the past, but I've stopped now. Uh, this time, however, audio started playing on it that it that shouldn't be playing. I was so worried it was in my head again, but I have proof it wasn't. Here is the audio. You can hear Wally too, can't you? Okay. Oh, awesome. Thank you for the transcript, by the way. Um, I'll I'll open that transcript over here. Okay. Hello? Hello? I'm calling to wish you a happy homewarming from me and home. Oh. So fucked. I'm. This is... Can we reread tears of... Was that better? I've been practicing. 
I'm trying to get better at singing. Did you like it? I wish I knew, but you still won't tell me anything. Oh? It's so quiet. It's so quiet. It's so quiet during home warming. Everyone's usually so busy, so it's just me and home for a long while. Wally, we're trying. But I still like home warming. Everyone likes home warming. I don't want to end this call, but I have to go get ready for home warming. Barnaby will be here soon. Oh, I have to go. Remember, until you hear me again, keep your smile merry and always know that I love you very much. Goodbye. The fuck? Interesting. Also, um, I actually just saw, yeah, there's a new, there's a new Barnaby plush. Yeah, wait. Also, what if Barnaby the the bad guy? Oh, interesting. That's interesting. It's like Barnaby's been a little suspicious. And oh, yeah, I, every time something weird's been going on, you know, Barnaby might have been there. That's the thing. And the oh, that's I want one. Look, it's I the want one. The peas. Oh, but yeah, and like it's really interesting because like I thought none of the puppets survived, or there are no more puppets here except for Wally and what we assume to be Frank and like you know from the last thing. This is pretty nuts. I'm going. I'm going. Oh. All right. Um, that this there's now commercials. Very. Uh, this is twenty two minutes. Lord God. What I found is remarkable. It feels like a miracle. When the website first launched, I had found something playing from a very old television in my home. Oh my guess. Yes. But yeah. Um, we saw the what you call it. Um, we saw the the merch job, the Barnaby and the, the pins. They're cute. Okay, I am compelled to turn it on. I could see something. I could hear it too. But I had nothing to record it with. I would occasionally turn the television on. I don't know why. I think I could hear or see something. Finally, last year in the summer, I had taken a photo and listened to dialogue I believed to be from the show itself. Oh, fuck! Whoa. I felt like an idiot. I hadn't recorded anything. I was so entranced with what I was seeing. Since then, I haven't turned it off. I wouldn't let that mistake happen to me again. If I kept watching and listening, I knew I and something would come back. I was finally rewarded in December. The channel it appeared on didn't make any sense, but I didn't care. Video evidence and audio started playing one after another. The other, I've captured and compiled together whatever I could. I can't make sense of anything. Older television always felt strange to me anyway. Please be wary of flashing lights, loud sounds, and strange audio. Okay, um... Okay, we can't have the transcript on because we have to watch this. But like, um, actually, oh my god! Oh, imagine like a howdy plushie, but like it's a long boy. <laughs> <laughs> Julie plushie would be so cute. I love Julie's little. Yeah, I, I kind of want the, like uh, a, a a howdy plushie, but like there's springs inside. Do you guys remember the spring plushies? Like, uh, like they're felt wrapped around like uh an extendable metal uh spring thing they hurt when they they hit you but like they're so fun to play with because you can stretch them out and they yeah, and they're, they're like slinkies but like they don't slink that'd be so fun and like imagine how long you can get uh howdy you know and then like uh maybe there's like more arms that pop out because they're folded inside that'd be so cute actually but yeah. Okay. 
We're gonna play this. We're gonna. Oh see my god, an Eddie plush with a working satchel, and then you could put letters inside. That'd be so cute, actually. Okay, we're gonna play this. Um, yeah. We might play it all the way through, but if we have any commentary in the middle, we might pause. Yeah. Like, that way we can also, you know, like. That. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Wow. This reminds me of old Sesame Street. Yeah, right. Oh my god! Ah! What's this stuff falling from the sky, Barnaby? That's snow, little buddy! That's not snow! That's crispy sweet snow frosted crispy cereal full of sugary white crystals this that thing. melt on your tongue just like snowflakes. Perfect for the holidays. I want them. Gee, Barn, I sure love snow. That ain't snow, kid. It's the, the sweet, sweet sugar taste, taste of crispy sweets. Sweet sweets. Wow. Did you complete your Christmas list yet? If not, bring the taste of the neighborhood to your home with the official Welcome Home Cookbook. Enjoy recipes created by some of your favorite characters like Frank, Julie, and Poppy. Have the family taste the rich elegance of Howdy's Happy Holiday Hickory Home Warming Hair oh God, Jesus, and see how it this. glistens along with the ornaments on the tree. Wowee! Make sure you have some leftovers for jolly old Saint Nick. Oh my! A little something for me too? <laughs> Don't mind if I do! That's... Eaten. Then warm up by the fire with a nice hot cup of the Don't spirit eating. of home warming. You won't miss out on spirit any holiday drinks because they'll all be mixed together into one bee's happy holiday hickory home warming ham and see how it glistens along with the ornaments on the tree. Wowee! Make sure you have some leftovers for jolly old Saint Nick. Oh my! A little something for me too? <laughs> Don't mind if I do! Whoa. Then warm up by the fire with a nice hot cup of the spirit of home warming. You won't miss out of on what? any holiday drinks because they'll all be mixed together into oh. one beautiful beverage. Are you okay, Santa? The official Welcome Home Cookbook is full of other delights. Recreate such classics as the gingerbread sandwich. Barnaby's Holly Jolly Hot Dog a Day and a mother a... chunky eggnog <laughs> that... Mrs. Beagle's Barnyard Eggnog. But no, Yum I can't say that on stream. And of course, the ever popular home warming treat one single pea on a plate. I'm one single pea, let's <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, that went down the wrong chimney. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Enchant your neighbors with the delights that can be made right at home with a very low price. That's the key. It's one oh, God. Ballin cup. It's so easy. Even oh, that's so cute because his hair is so <laughs> ball and put it in the cup. I love that so much. From the You Won't Believe It Company. Injuries from Wally's Ballin' Cup do not fall under the liability of the You Won't Believe It Company. Bring home the whimsical oh, music of Welcome Home to your home for the holiday season with Welcome Home's home warming harmonies for hearth and home. The neighbors are ready to serenade you with their many heartwarming songs, such as Home Warming Tree. 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 You'll have such a tasty, fresh Oh, it's one of these types of commercials. And I love these. Ham. Honey, the sweet and pigs and yams. Home Warming Tree. Home Warming Tree. You'll have such a tasty, Who could forget other Christmas classics featuring homes very first solo, Jingle Bells. Oh, oh, okay. I love a good home warming. Wrapping presents, decking the tree with dishes, and oh, going hand. out singing carols. Oh, well, I'm just peachy about helping you put up your tree too, Poppy. 
What's a home warmer's eve without a home warmer ham in the tree, after all? And I do what? so what? appreciate That's your gravy help, on the. Lady. It sounds ornaments. like your schedule must be filled to the brim with all sorts of work. When are you going to give yourself some time to enjoy the holidays? Even I don't knit every day. My wings hurt just thinking about it. Oh, don't you fret your feathers over me. I'm fine. I'm looking forward to delivering the gifts my friends have all gotten for each other. Oh, now hold Eddie. on. Oh, don't God. go anywhere. You? Yes, that you. Yes, darling. <laughs> don't touch that dial. We'll, we'll be, be back, back to, to the, the welcome, welcome home homewarming home special home after home these home sponsors. Home. They don't say remote, they say dial. Sally. So it's the really old, old dial. Don't touch that dial. Welcome for the rest of the show. If you insist. So there I was at home, just me and my little buddy Wally, when suddenly we hear a knock at the door. Who could that be? The little peanut said, and I says, that's my ma, little buddy. She's already here for homewarming. So I threw open the door, and when she gets a load of our homewarming spread, she immediately knew something was amiss. And I remember hearing her clear as day. Oh, Barnaby, you silly pooch. I think you're missing something special. What's that, Ma? I got the milk in the stocking, a cricket on the heart, and a ham in the tree, just for Santa Claus. But you're just not ready for the home warming season until you've had some of my fresh barnyard eggnog. Bah, how could I forget that Mama Beagle's barnyard eggnog is the freshest eggnog out there? The sweet creaminess is no joke. Oh, okay. That's Ooh. right. And Lovely. of course, don't forget a peck from Mother, too. Oh, Ma. Aww. If a dog knows anything, it's listening Where's to his mother. Where's the milk and cookies, Barnaby? So get yourself some Mama Beagle's Barnyard Eggnog today. Limited to home warming season only. It ain't fresh unless it's... Oh, you. Mama Beagle's Barnyard Eggnog. Ah, uh, woo. Ah, uh, woo. Oh. It's really cute. I tell you, Howdy, I'm getting a little tired of smoking the same old, same old. I need know something new, something fresh, something that'll really knock my spots off. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I got something special just for you, Bon. Mm -hmm. Meet Hoopla, the cigarette that'll make you shout hooray for Hoopla! Well, gosh, Howdy, it sounds like a hoot and a holler. But, uh, what's so special about it? It's everything and more. The beautiful robot this is way smooth too tape much of a that coincidence. comes from Hoopla's hand-chosen tobacco this and is spices. So, this is Not so... Not to mention this is, it's long-lasting filter that will help you savor the flavor. Lunch on flavor, because, like, the... Go. Oh. Prettier than a magnolia in May. <laughs> See? Eddie? Well, no one has asked me to deliver nothing yet. But I know they'll be calling me up real soon. Till then, I reckon I'll just focus on wrapping my own presents. You know, I, I ain't never had so little to do on a holiday before. No matter. I could fill in the time just fine. Let's see. Um, uh, oh, let's wrap Sally's presents first. Or actually, maybe Julie's. She's going to love this chimney cozy I got her. I mean, I hope she does. Well, come to think of it, Julie hasn't called me either. Is this real time? Like, she always calls to play some 24? Sort of game. But what if these presents are cold. relevant? What if her house doesn't get cold? But no, no, need to indulge in the whimsy, Eddie. <laughs> Let's focus on someone else instead. What about, um, Wally? I, I know his interests don't change much at all. Get that fella an apple every day and he'll be happy as a clam. Yep. Okay, there we go. Done and done. <laughs> I sure can't wrap these fast. I'm going to be done before I know it. I ought to slow down on the wrapping then. If I go too fast, I'll be back to. Happening while everyone was asking about home warming. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, maybe. 
Frank has some kind of butt catch in that. No, no, not down no. Why the apple not paints? Apple. Yeah! Oh god, Jesus! Oh my! No I don't think this was happening oh during. Uh, I think that was to throw you off. It's, it, um, this I think that's no, no, no. I think the Eddie segments are in real time. Twenty twenty four, kind of like with uh, Frank. Oh, that's true. <laughs> the twelve deals of homing. Gaudi offered me one single piece. <laughs> Whose kid is this? Starring our very own Barnaby B. Beagle. He's blocking me in Iowa. Oh, I tried uh, to call the other way, but there's a different kid here. Hey, this dish is bothering me. I can't get to my can of beans. Bomb, bomb, these kids won't wait. My nephews are on them. Oh, okay. brother. Up and down, boys. That's right. It's back to work for you, Grubs. Oh, I'm so sorry, Uncle Ham. I've been in the post office all day, and no one has given me nothing to deliver. Maybe I missed something. Maybe a, a memo, a note, like anything. Look at how long he's been there for. Oh, wait, yeah. no, that's just the shopping list. Okay, well, no notes here. Oh! <laughs> I bet everyone's outside playing in the snow. <laughs> I can't see anyone out there. Oh, there! They were outside talking about it. If you can't see anyone, then. Leave the post office. Well, I bet the moment I leave's the moment someone should walk in needing something or other. Yeah. Wait, actually, no, can I pause? Yeah. Okay, so he looked out. We hear the door open, or the window, actually. There's someone outside, but if we can determine everything we've seen so far, there should be the entire neighborhood outside talking about how to do homewarming, right? That's one. Two, family members are visiting. Howdy is, like, the biggest one. Yeah. Like, they, there, there should be a flood of people here, so if... He opens it. The very minimal we'd be hearing, hearing would be chatter from a distance, even if he can't see anything. When is this taking place? Uh, right? Mercy, why ain't no one told me anything? Not a call, a visit, a peep, or nothing. I, How am I, I supposed to I do my job feeling. when no one gives me something to do? Who ever heard of folks getting recognition for nothing? No one. That's who. At least I don't think so, anyway. Maybe I ought to just go out for a walk. Berkshire Bites! A civilized snack for a civilized pooch like me! I don't see why having gravy in dog food gives any kind of benefit to any kind of dog. That's where you're wrong, Frankfurter! The answer is right under your nose. Berkshire has so many health benefits, like giving oh. us dogs good breath and a shiny coat. Not to mention it goes down smooth. Including a dazzling performance of Vicky. We Three Queens fuck? by Sally Starlet, <laughs> Julie Joyful, and Poppy Beauty Now we're 
hasn't quite turned out the lights yet. Wally, what are you still doing awake? Well, I'm sleepy, but I just can't sleep. <laughs> Not to fret, little friend. Rembrandt is here to save the Whoa. day. Oh, uh, God. Night. Really? Mm-hmm. But what, what does happens it here? do? I'm glad you asked, little guy. With just two pills, Remdurem offers fast-acting relief to those busy minds Remdurem. who don't know when it's time to sleep. I've been thinking of a lot of new things to draw. I'm sure you have. But that's for the daytime. For now, let Remdurem oh. whisk you away to dreamland. Lot of oh. Thank you, Remdurem. Oh, okay. <gasps> Fear not, mailman. It is... I, your beloved Ollie's star of the homewarming tree, come to, to bestow peace onto your so she, th mind. There is a story with them the hanging we out. You to deliver any presents. Well, he's gonna get visited by the hot man. We have already done it. Really? What are you doing up there? Everyone insists you work so hard. All of us wanted to give you a break so you could finally enjoy it for yourself. So step an envelope in it and escort me to oh, Wally's oh, homewarming well, party. Maybe Come I along, do need hurry, a break. hurry. Oh, okay, okay, I'm coming. And so Sally Starlet and Eddie Deer make their way to home together with the rest of their friends. When they entered the oh. doorway, the neighbors cheered. Finally, everyone was here. After hey. hanging up his coat and hat, Eddie plopped himself down on one of Holmes' seats. I didn't know seats. it's on. <sighs> Maybe this is what I needed. A love Aww. seat and my single pee on a plate. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm finer than a frog's hair split four ways. And so, the resident, reliable mailman finally got to take a day off for himself. Everything was delivered. His friends were all here, and most important of all, Eddie Deer was happy. Eddie Deer was happy. Oh, What the fuck? It's the, it's the black space. The void. Oh. Falling? Oh! Oh, oh you are so nasty. Oh, fuck. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, I'm getting hug me. I'm scared vibes here. I land. Easy.
a heartbeat. I move. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Whoa. Oh, 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 is he in pain? Mr. Dear, I heard from Sally that you've been worried about deliveries all morning. All morning? More like all day! I could see it all from my spot up on the tree. It's not easy being the most important decor for home warming. But I do what I must for this little neighborhood. I still don't know who helped you get up there. Well, if you've been in your post office all day, it couldn't have been you, could it, Mr. Dear? Oh. Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer, are you listening? Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer? <laughs> Where? Teddy! That. Eddie, Eddie, are you there? Why aren't you answering? Eddie! Whoa, what's so. A happy home warming to one and all! Ho ho ho! What the fuck? Whoa. Yes, it might confirm any and Frank are. Okay. It's like, confusing. Yeah, I'm, I'm confusing. gonna say because like they thought the last one kind of soft confirmed Sally. I don't know, uh, Julie and Frank, but uh, this could confirm it too. But like the idea of like when he says Mr. Deer, when he says Eddie, that's a different voice. That's not only a different voice; it glitched out to just Frank. Yeah. And at the same time, I think I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like. Um, I, I'm revising the theory here. What if they're all in the void? They're all separated, but Frank's the first one to break free. Trying to contact us, and now he's looking for everybody else. I listened to the words before Eddie says, I'll never go home. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. It looks like they're inside home. <sighs> it looks like they're inside home. In the transcript, it says, I need to go home. Oh, oh, the thing is, there's like, there's a thing in some um, transcript versus audio that very few details are like different, so who knows? Who, who really knows? Yeah, it's not that many a couple more like Frank is word for you. That's also a possibility. Like, the yeah. whole part of like romantic relations, we can remove, like, we can um, remove I think canonically, but yeah, like, canonically, like, there's no romantic relations between the neighbors, right? I don't... Like, in the show, I at least. I don't think so, but like, like, if you remove that, you know, whether or, want, whether or not you want to, I think like relations just based on like you know uh, or relations between characters yeah like personal friends like who knows yeah it, i do agree and frank is worried for him because that was very different All right. yeah but th th again this kind of goes to show this might be frank yeah. this might be eddie <laughs> no, in current day you know <laughs> 
freaking out for like the entire stream. Admittedly, I'm yeah. frustrated. I feel distraught. When I finally fell asleep, no more audio or video ever returned. What could have been what could have been seen made me feel sick. To record so little took so much work. When footage would disappear, I would have to move to another channel, where another would appear and then disappear again. I knew I had to stop, though. I was too exhausted and was tired of waiting through hours of static just to find another commercial. I don't know how this was happening, but the show never appeared beyond clips of Eddie Deer. I don't want to post this publicly on the Welcome Home Restoration page uh, project site. At least not yet. I can't stomach anything what's, that's happening. Oh, okay. Hello there, E. Hi, E. But yeah, the transcripts, like, the thing is, we have to keep an eye out, an ear and eye out when it comes to transcripts. We can, we can always look through it, like, long, this is long, long, this is long, this is long. Oh man, I want to read this sometime, but like, this is insane. I'm going to go to the toilet. Oops. Give me a second. This is your third time going to the toilet this stream. Oh, okay. The laundry has uh, cometh. Um, so we we called the laundry, and they were supposed to come half an hour ago, apparently. Oh shit, half an hour ago. Okay, if you guys heard the doorbell, uh, yeah. Anyways, so that was quite a lot. That was quite a lot. Um, first of all, gravy gravy flavored gummies. Thoughts, guys. Thoughts. While we while Lisa's out. Gravy flavored uh, gummies, and two. It's kind of like it's kind of looking like the puppets themselves aren't dead, but they are alive. Some, and uh, it it adds to the Frank theory. There was Frank that like touches uh, on uh, Eddie in the very end. You know, like uh, made contact as it were. Gravy flavored gummy. What it does? Ew! Gross! Awesome! <laughs> I had a theory written elsewhere. I'll post a comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Melt the gummies and instantly a sauce. <laughs> Actually, no. Like uh, I remember there was a place where that was a thing. Like they give you like a cube of gravy, like solid cube. Then you just microwave it, and it'll turn liquid. It was really gross because it never fully melts. Really gross. But we're the first to see reality and now they break aside from Wally. That's another thing. Wally being drugged. Now that that is something that uh, I'm interested in. Do you guys remember what the name was? Rem Rem Remember? Rem, rem what was it again? The 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 the, the pills that he was taking. Is it kind of like I don't know if this is stretching, okay? I don't know if this is stretching, but it kind of both sounds like remember or murder, like red rum, you know? It's like a mixture of red rum and remember and rem rem the ram, yeah, maridim marim. Marred Mar Marindermer. Bird Mer like I'm trying to read it like um backwards, but it does kind of sound like remember and murder. I don't know, like that that could just be me. That could just be me. During every thirty seconds. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I don't have access to it anymore. But like, oh, that also reminds me, actually, like, uh, noodle sauce. Because like, I, I remember buying these amazing duck noodles from uh, the convenience store in Thailand. That was awesome. Their sauces come in Jello form. I don't know why. Like, it starts off as a Jello on top of the noodles, and when you heat them up, they melt all over the. Mm, beautiful. It was beautiful. REM is connected to uh, sleep. That's a thing. Rem, rem, dare, rem. What's the dare? You know, what it's rapid eye movement, uh, dream state. Rem dream. That could also be you know remember or like rem rem R E M dream. That could be a thing. You know. 
if anything those spells are keeping wally complacent yeah that's the thing that's the thing it adds to the like the like why does wally need to be complacent unless wally's consciousness might be being subdued so something else can speak through him that that could be one way to look at it the way that things are looking out looking right now is that it seems like whoever is doing this whatever did this may be connected to the idea that uh that uh it may be the executives the producers maybe over commercializing it and uh, that's what started all this Kame. hello there Kame. Game seems complicated. It's, it's it's quite a complex. Uh, it is actually pretty. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, what you call it over here and welcome home. Panopticon. Oh, also, there's still a bit of laundry out there. I couldn't fit all of them into like the thing. So, when they come back, laundry. You give all the laundry. Yeah, the the two large bags, okay, okay. like it's the ones that were like kind of like still in the thing. Yeah, that's no problem. That's yeah. no problem. But I gave both. One thank you for very... thank you for like giving the laundry. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa has been taking a good, has been taking good care of the, and and house home. Home. Yes, she is my Barnaby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Not the Foucault War flashbacks! No! Not again. Yeah. Not the concept of power again. But yeah, yeah. Also, oh spots on gravy flavored gummies. Yes! I love gravy! <laughs> I, I'll be doing that Santa Claus mukbang shit with gravy. Cause like, I don't know, like, the void kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know, like, something like the Shadow Realm from. The American dub of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fun fact, guys. The Japanese dub does not mention any actual place called the Shadow Realm. You just straight up die. Yes. Um, but, like, it, it, like the way that they described it, that he described it in the American version was that the Shadow Realm is essentially purgatory. Yes. No. And uh, that's what it feels like the puppets are in currently. They're in their own form of purgatory where they're isolated from each other. But Eddie Deer, Eddie Deer, I mean, uh, Frank... Frank, frankly, um, has managed to find a way to not only contact the outside world, but to maneuver within that space. That's why um, he manages to get into contact with Eddie. Are you telling me Eddie was sent to the Shadow Realm? That's right. I think all of them were. I think all of them were. And by Shadow Realm, I'm, I mean whatever purgatory they're in. This is your Barnaby. Wally sweeps with Barnaby sometimes, you know. I think at this point, I'm just being... Uh, I know why he's calling me Barnaby. It's because I'm hilarious. No, it's because I'm a comedy god. It's because I'm, I'm a fucking genius. Hell yeah. Sure. You can't say the D word on four kids, truly. Yeah, exactly. You can't. Despite the fact that they, like, four kids unironically aired the entirety of the satan arc in digimon without properly censoring it honestly uh, yes. that was that was the weirdest 180 they did <laughs> i appreciate it because like I, I tried re-watching it through the four kids dub like i i never grew up with it i only watched it later in life i appreciate it that they did remove it but it's a weird choice to keep it in despite everything being like censored by four kids oh gosh and he got stuffed into the toy box. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. What is this, like, toy land? No, 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 that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. The, the toy land concept. This is new, right? Uh, I think so. Um, yeah. So Songa, will someone please give Songa a hot cocoa? They're breaking down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So 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 hot cocoa from, of course, uh, from Toyland. You know. Yeah. Um, use your official. Uh, Welcome home, Wally mug. The one that hits you in the eye because, like, Wally's hair protrudes through the rim. Uh <laughs> and he got stuffed in the toy box. The 90s Fox Kids. Uh, yeah. um, the American localization video, but 
more dark with that one. I I didn't actually. I did not watch uh, Yu Gi Oh um, in English. That's all I can say. I watched it in um, I think the Singaporean English dub. Uh Uh, it's the it's the one that airs in Southeast Asia Cartoon Network. Is what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Um, he hears a single pea. <laughs> no, no, not the single pea. That's why we see a giant chess pieces. They're literal toys. Oh, does that mean yeah. that Eddie got turned into a toy practically and just like shoved that in there? That could be an idea, or like, like the idea that the individual concept of these characters, so as they were once sentient, they're like no. Oh, what's it called? Fla- the Flanders. They're in storage. Storage. Yeah. What would be what would be purgatory for puppets? Oh, little toy box. Yeah, yeah right. guys, say hi to your old toys because they're probably in purgatory right now. <laughs> freaking out, man. They're freaking out. Think about, like, oh, is this like a, is this like a Toy Story 3 di- dilemma where they've been put into a box for years and, like, yeah. they, they haven't been played with? He got a sleep paralysis demon setting. I watched Yu Gi Oh! on Hero TV. Hey. What's Hero TV? It is a channel, uh, what you call it? It is a Filipino channel for, uh, anime. Oh, interesting, and, interesting. I think they're, they're gone now. But, like, that was, that was the thing. Don't do that to me, Z! I love the Singaporean English dubs, the DVDs are region-free. The what? What? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. The, 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 the thing is, is, the thing is the Singaporean dub, which really, the Singaporean English dubs, I hate the fact that they're really hard to come by. A lot yes. of them are lost media, and that really sucks. Like, I want to watch K On again, okay? Mostly because we're currently going through Bocce. Um, But I want to watch it the way I watched it as uh, a middle schooler, okay? I want to watch it through the Animax Singaporean English dub. Lisa found the the episodes on the uh, which one? Uh, it was like either it was, uh, archive, uh, archive, Internet Archive. Yeah, yeah it's on the Internet Archive. The thing is, they don't have it for everything. Full Metal Alchemist. I'm still looking for that. Digimon. I'm still looking for that. Uh, I know you found some episodes, but not all of them, right? Not all of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Digimon. Uh, Sergeant Kororo. Like or Sergeant Frog in the West, like a, a lot of them just don't hit. Like, I mean, they call it Sergeant Frog in the yeah. West. I thought it was yeah. just called Geroro. No, it's Sergeant Frog That's in the so West. F R G actually. Weird, but like yeah, but a, a lot of the anime I used to watch in. Uh, oh, um, Lisa recently found because uh, like I've been looking for them. I don't know how Lisa's been finding them, but I like ways all the time. Um, Ayate the Combat Butler, some of it's on YouTube. So that's great, but not all of it. Which sucks. Oh no! I mean, you saw TikTok of the Bone Lady. It's like the Sadie on TikTok who does like this bone reading things, but for silly little, like, you know, questions. Uh-huh. And someone asked if the toys we had as kids are sad that we're not that age anymore, and the Bone said yes! Aww. Don't tell it, Songo! Do whatever you do. Don't think about that. Don't think yeah. about it. It's more with the increase in commercialization, they've sort of become less and less sentient and more like commodities, like they're literally being objectified. That's what I'm thinking too! Yeah. Right? That's yeah. insane! Heather Superboy. Sergeant Frog slash Kororo was my very first manga. Aww. Aww. Mine was Pokemon. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! I used yeah. to buy my anime on eBay from Malaysia. Man, you so you get to find it! That's awesome! Oh Actually. my god! Though you might have some, like if you found like some either obscure ones or like old TV like recordings, you might have some lost media there. Yeah, no problem, and Sam. Well, we look forward to that. We look forward to all your old series, and yeah. so you're gonna you're gonna have like a. Forward We're gonna forward also forward try to forward. rework the classified to like make it easier for us to produce because like Lisa has a hard time getting through uh, like the entirety of all the information. While like uh, breaking it down to like something digestible is really hard for me as well because there's just so much information. I so we might yeah. rework it and we might uh, like uh, we currently have some stuff outside of Welcome Home in the works. We might put that in first before we move there because this is too big. This is too way big. too big. I will have to say, um, it was because like last night. 
like I was just scrolling. I was scrolling the good old YouTube at like God knows what time. And as I, I came across a little video and I'm like, that's silly goofy. That's yeah. fascinating. I click it, I go to the channel, I'm like, this is fucking fascinating. I didn't watch a single thing like yeah. at all. So, yeah. Lisa just kicked my door open and like screamed out, oh, Archie. I'm not I'm even sure if it's an ARG. I just found it's it did. Yeah. So, yeah. That's um. I can't. I can't not think about my childhood toys. Are still in the house. Oh man. You gotta open them up and see. Oh, Speed Dusty. Racer. Like what? Ooh. Speed Racer. I remember was one of my first animes as well. Like I'm not sure where I watched it or what dub, but the weirdest thing to watch. It's the cartoon continuation, Speed Racer, The Next Generation, I think it's what it's called. Oh, wait. It's I think I know weird. This. I think I know this. It's weird. It's like essentially the kids of the Speed Racer, like, uh, Oh my characters. god, this? This it's is an actual... It's very weird. No, this is an actual, like... It's sequel? an actual sequel show you, from the... separate. No. It's so different in the no. style. Oh my god. It's very weird. I tried watching it. I did not understand anything. That was in college. <laughs> I think after everything they went through, my old toys are glad to be liberated. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I played I have, mostly Legos. I think like a while, like a year or so ago, my mom actually sent me a photo of um my Barbies all cleaned up. Aww. Like she just said, like, oh, like, what are you doing? Like, oh my god, those are my Barbies. And she's like, I'm so bored. Um, <laughs> your Barbies. I don't know what to do. It's like, okay. And then, like, she just put them back, and then back in the closet they go. And then she's like, I don't know what to do. I was literally told which shelf of which shop to find complete collection in my dream the night before. Damn. Damn. That is, that's you in a dream? Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Like, um, like honestly, my dreams are unreliable because either they're just weird dreams, they're a reflection of my mental state, or they're teaching me how to cook a certain recipe that oh doesn't exist. Yeah, sometimes he wakes up. Like, I am somewhere. Maybe I'm in the kitchen. Maybe I'm in the studio. He wakes up from a nap and he's just like, I have a recipe. I'm like, what? Or, like, it's a premonition of something about to happen or, like, you know, will happen in the far future, which is weird. But a lot of the ones that I appreciate are the recipes. It's like, that's how I got, like... What was it again? What? The most recent one? What's, what was it again? What's... Forget. It's but like I, I actually forget which recipes we we constantly make that just came from a dream. I have I have a map in my dream. I can tell like where some things are. In like in my dreams, like I can tell like um what you call it? My high school building has specific types of dreams, but sometimes it also depends on how the map is oriented in that high school building. I rarely ever dream of anything from my college building, but I did recently. I have um, a grocery store where all my hor like horrific nightmares are from for some reason. I love grocery stores. Um, there is like, I have a road um, that says like one is in a, uh, to the right is the apartment, to the left, far left is the school. Um, the closer area is a mall. And, but then when you go in the mall, it's actually a mall complex where there's several malls connected and it's like outdoor and indoor. It's it's fun. Oh. Like going oh, off to like the right side where the apartments are eventually leads you to a beachside apartment uh, set of apartment complexes. Metabots! Metabots was fun, but I didn't get to watch it because uh, by the time it was airing where um, where I lived, I moved to Bangkok, so yeah. and they didn't have it there, which kind of sucks. It's the same with the, the 2004 Ninja Turtles. Never really got into either of them until later in life. There's really something therapeutic and peaceful about grocery stores. There is! I love a there grocery is. run with, the, you know? Yeah. Do you guys have, like, weird characters that are reoccurring in your dreams yeah, like, yeah. for me it's the static man that's oh, one okay. of them like uh it's kind of like a hat man situation but instead of like not seeing a face it's all just static that's actually so cool yeah the other one is um the limb lady it's just a big large monstrous lady with big limbs and a gaping jaw 
that's like crying to chase me. She normally appears in in the school setting, which Slay. is weird, you know. The thing is, I love grocery stores. Peaceful, yes, therapeutic, yes. The thing is, the ghost girl that lives in the grocery store that is in my brain is out How to kill you? me. I'm pretty sure. There's also Dream Lisa. Um, she scares me the most. <laughs> yeah. She she's always up to something. I don't understand. But even like uh, I'm just telling you guys, Dream Lisa and I had a conversation in one of my dreams. She's also scared of Lisa, so. <laughs> oh, I see. What you call it? But yeah, it's so freaky. Actually, the thing that freaks me out the most is if I see like each of the locations in my dreamscape that I have for some reason also have like there there are characters in there that I know fit in each place. There are people I know like if I dream about them in my high school, it's like oh this is the role they kind of play. Regardless of whether I knew them in high school or not. But sometimes, what, the, what freaked me out the most is that one time the ghost girl from the grocery store in my brain went to the school building and I, my first thought was like, bitch, you're not supposed to be here. Get back. And then she just starts walking towards me like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm going to the other building. I like the same with, uh, well, not really. Uh, it's like the static man. The static man doesn't appear often as much, but like... When when I see the static man in my dream, yeah. I know I'm in danger and I should run away. But every time I see him, when I turn, everything just slows down and I can feel him get getting closer and then I wake up. Damn. Yeah. There was also that one like uh, oh, I think um <laughs> I think I'm now happy with my dreams being all over the place. <laughs> Whenever a character saves me some from certain deaths in a dream, I draw them when I wake up. That way they show up more often. That's actually so smart. But the that, thing, that, I've never had anyone save me from certain death in a dream. I always just wake that up. That kind of reminds me of a dream. I, I remember telling you this, but like yes. back in, uh, I think it's after graduation, yes. like college graduation, I had this dream where it's kind of like Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. And there was this weird B.O.W. kind of guy that's yeah. dressed up in a spiffy gangster suit with like a hat and like shades. Yeah, and is. like... They were coming after, like, he was coming after us, right? And he kept on yelling out stuff like, um, Nobody escapes Kevin Jones! Kevin Jones will destroy anyone in Kevin Jones' way! And I was just like, why, why, is such, why is this such a detail? Like, why is he screaming out his own name? And why did my brain come up with the name Kevin, Kevin Jones? Jones? <laughs> it's just like, what is going on? The thing is, I okay, um, nowadays when I go to sleep, I just instantly wake up at a different time. For example, I close my eyes at 8 p.m., then I reopen them at 8 a.m. Don't know when it started happening. God damn. I mean, honestly, like, sleeping is time traveling, so... Also, like... Writing or drawing, like, after your dream is so good. Like, because, you know, you get to keep track of your dream journal. My dream journal is my besties' DMs. I be in there just like, hi, I know, I don't care what time it is there. You will hear me out on this. And, like, they'll just see the message later. There's, like, a whole spam. I haven't had a dream that can detail that much yet. But, like, every time I have, like... A dream, I'm just like, I'm up in the, I'm up at like, God knows what time, like, I need to write this down somewhere. Do I put it in a dream journal notebook? No. Do I put it in an app? No. I head on over to Bestie's DMs, like, you are gonna deal with this today. <laughs> and so. this is why Dream Lease is also afraid. Yes. Anyways, so I guess that's it for now in terms yeah. of like, welcome home, because like, I mean, we, we went on a tangent about dreams, but yes. uh, I think unless you guys know, like, you know, any last minute things that we need to, like, check on, there doesn't seem to be anything else right yeah, now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But this has been quite a long stream. It's uh, been almost three hours, like in three minutes. It's oh, actually, be... this is around the same uh, time as I remember our last. Yeah, yeah but in, in total, we've spent, I think, roughly five hours on yes. just this update. This is going to be a huge update. Yes. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we will uh, we will come back here tonight for... Uh... Actually, we're not yet sure. It's uh, It's been quite a quite a time. Uh, we'll, we'll also see if I'm feeling like well later. But uh, we'll keep you guys posted on Discord. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys. Oh, right. Amurais. 
Right, I learned how to make omurice in my dreams. Right, uh, I remember I was like learning how to make it by flipping the pan. And I don't know, I remember physically flipping my hand because there's a pan in my hand in the dream. And I'm like, I was just cooking the omurice. And then the very next morning, I made it without a hitch. Like, it was perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Wait, you don't remember that? That was in high school. Really? Oh, that yeah. was I told you about it while I was making omurice for you. Yeah. Yeah, because that's why I remember it. I know you made omurice. That's why. I yeah, I was telling you the story as well. I can make omurice, guys. Just so you know, thanks to dream cooking, as I call it. All I get is just like looks into the. Oh, the Japanese, Japanese curry as well, actually. Japanese. Yeah, yeah. The first time we made curry together, that was that was what I dreamt on, like how to make the curry. All right. Yeah. So... Justice for dream cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys right, next take time. Care. Bye. Bye.